Are we good? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, Joel Valley from Media Glitch, and you know, usually Friday nights I am streaming from my house, but I'm in Arizona right now. Surprise. That's where we're at. Surprise Arizona. All right, with the itch. Say hey. hi, itch. Yo. The itch Network. Go subscribe to them. And uh, Sakula. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Dracula. Like yeah. Dracula. Except sack. But you're nuts. Except, with, yeah. with a scrotum, right? Exactly. Right. Just kick one out. Yeah. Nutsack. It's Dracula's scrotum. It is actually Dracula's scrotum, yeah. It's I a just, weird channel. I just represent him. Yeah. <laughs> I speak on his behalf. And as well, what was, what's the name? I forget. Gaming Through the Decades. Gaming Through the Decades. So we have quite a few YouTube channels here. And we are at, um, we're, we're currently at Game On Expo. Yes. Uh, something Gamester 81 has been putting on in the last couple of years in, here in Arizona. So sure. that's awesome. Had a great time. Met a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. um, some that I knew already. Some new people. Like I never met, met Pat, the NES Punk. Right. Had met him before. We, Super uh, nice guy. That was fun. And who are some other people that we met oh, for the first time? Johnny I met Williams. Jesus. Yeah, I met Johnny for the first time. Yeah, in person. Him but we, I, yeah, I've talked to him quite a bit. What's up, Pedro Sanchez? Oh, Pedro, what's going on, man? We're in Arizona, man. Thanks for joining. He's 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 every time, man. He's faithful. He's faithful. My stream boy. Tell him. So. Ask him what the link is. <laughs> Pedro, I've actually, I've actually got, got it. it. Oh, did you get it? Okay. Oh, you yeah. found it. I went the traditional route and subscribed. This is the secret. Yeah. I looked at it. Yeah. This I'm is the <laughs> secret stream, folks. Have her subscribe to my channel. Um, we don't even know how. I don't even know how to like tweet this out. Uh, <laughs> So people can watch. So man. okay. So all you gotta do is just go to YouTube, go like you would normally go to your channel, and then as soon as it, you go to your channel on the home menu, it will have the stream up. I love that you're giving directions to people on how to watch. Yeah, it. <laughs> you, know, watch it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like when they when like they tell you how to connect to the internet. Like, we go, go to this website. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's always the most insulting thing in the world. But first, is it, is it plugged in? <laughs> yeah. Let's turn this down. Dios mio! I, I found hey. it. Yeah, that's good. Send me that link. Send I'll that link. I'll post it on Facebook. So we thought, man, let's like we're all here, man. Uh, we're actually staying with with uh, Spencer. He's the brains behind the operation. Isn't that what you told me, Rosie? No, let's no, stay not on what I said. I believe it was the exact opposite. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I'm a smart man. <laughs> very I'm, I'm quite intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> very hospital, man. Yeah, he's very nice. He's very For sure. He made us enchiladas. Yeah, today. Well, very nice. They were delicious. For white boy, they weren't bad. It's I'm good. half Hispanic, but people don't realize that. It's in the teeth. But that's nowhere else, so I guess. <laughs> so, like, what, if, what if, like, the white portion takes over and makes them extra, like, sour. not spicy? Yeah, sour? sour? Cream, you yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, you just I use only sour cream in these. Or straight now. cream <laughs> cheese at that point. Like, yeah, yeah. Cream. He yeah, put yeah, a lot of jalapenos in them, more than. Normally, yeah, yeah. Is it because you're like, oh, I got these guys I, I, are Mexican. I gotta, I gotta Mexican it up. Let me just yeah. No, no, no. Do it Mexico inside. boys. <laughs> gotta take care of you. No, but not, nice. not. It was good. It was really good, man. We appreciate uh, them for offering your home to us, man. It was all. It's Anytime. awesome. It was fun, man. It's great. So we're here, man. At the, we're all going to the convention tomorrow. Are you going? No. Nah. Okay, so take that back. We're not all going. Wait, why aren't you going? Hmm? Why am I not going? Yeah. Uh, I got other nerdy things to do. <laughs> how, how much... How, wait, hold on. How can you get more nerdy, nerdy than, than a Game, Game on, on Expo? Expo? Uh, having a Game on Expo in my own house. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I, yeah. I got my games all set out, and I'm like, <laughs> the, <laughs> that's okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. But will Johnny Millennium be there? No. Will Pat the NES Punk be there? Will Pro uh -huh. Jared they be will there? Might, I don't know. We have to do I want them all in my bedroom. Will the game, chase, the game, game chasers yeah, be there? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, hey NES, uh, Eric, what's his name? NES Pat, Pat the NES Punk. NES Punk. What if he smells so good that he makes your room, like, he enhances the fragrance? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll let him in my room. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. At the NES Aromatic Punk. Exactly, yeah, the addendum. Yeah. <laughs> Officially endorsed. I, 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 was, I, I did an interview with Pat, the NES, NES Punk, today, mm -hmm. and uh, he has those luscious locks. Oh, he yeah, does, they're beautiful. Yeah. You know, like, just like that's hair right there. He's going to be flattered if he, if he watches this. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, I don't, but I don't remember him smelling good. What? I, he didn't smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember? The, okay, so here, here's the like thing. He didn't smell bad at all. But you don't I, remember you got it because about. it was so aromatic that like it almost like... You, you, you put you a trance tran tran on his yeah, exactly. so You were like, wow, right. this guy's so beautiful, I can't even smell him. Right. I was, I was <laughs> exactly. actually so taken back by the locks that sight yeah. overwhelmed me right. and all the rest of my senses. It disabled like four other senses, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. It's like, I can't even taste right now. This is how beautiful Exactly, so... 
Man, we're here. We're just going to... Uh, whoever's watching, Pedro Sanchez seems to be the one watching us today. Thanks. I'll let I posted it a couple places as well, too. Oh, on okay, Facebook cool. and the community page. So we'll see if anybody ends up popping in here. And so a lot of people will watch this, and I'll get a lot of people watching, but no one commenting. But you guys can ask <laughs> us all kinds of silly questions. We're yeah. here to answer. We're yeah. just, like, going to chill. I'm not playing nothing tonight. I'm sorry. If you you tried to play Overwatch earlier. I did try to play that garbage, Ooh. and it just wasn't working out for Ooh. me. And it wasn't garbage. It was fine. It's just I'm not a first-person shooter kind of guy. Is Battlefront third-person? Yeah. Well, you can, well, you can, can, you can choose, choose whatever you want. First. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why I can play it. Like, and here's a, here's the thing, man. I'll get motion sickness after a while. Oh, you and will? And I'm just, like, ready to throw up when I play those. So man. VR is probably not for you. No, VR is fine because there's a, they've learned to balance it out right. in your mind and like because you're doing it's like life, right? You know, you so have it's control. so immersive. That have you tried it? It's like yes, I have. I've tried, mm -hmm. and it was mind blowing. Like I was never sold on it at first. I was like, yeah, hey, yeah, I've been hearing about this since I was a kid. Right, right. VR stuff, but when you actually put it on <clears throat> and you do it, I was just like, all right, man, I'm sold. I'm sold. I don't have the money to buy your system yet, yeah. But I'm sold on when I do one day, or when it comes down, maybe in price. So this I'm is there. is this your first VR experience? Is like playing like the newer Oculus or Vive or anything oh, like yeah, that? Yeah, which, I played all of them. Oh, but did you play like the older stuff play? though? Like back in like the mid '90s, you remember they had um, it was like a little thing you would you trap yourself into and you just shoot darts at dragons. Like it wasn't. I never exciting. played none of that. No. Okay, but it was VR, and yeah. I mean it was you know really crappy th 3D, you know maybe 500 polygons max at like 15 frames a second. But it was immersive, and at the time, it was unlike anything you'd ever seen, and it was really cool. But now, I mean, obviously, the ante's been up so high that you can render everything at 4K in front of your eyeballs in full 3D with head tracking mm -hmm. and like the whole nonsense for like less than a thousand bucks. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's even a. Uh, have you guys heard of the company? I think it's Omni. Have you guys heard of that? It's an actual. Um, it's like a treadmill. You stand. Oh on. yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. You, can, yeah. you can move up and down. You can walk. You can run. You can duck. Yeah. Um, that'd be cool. That'd be, I, think that's that's what, that's I, I can't yeah. get past the virtual reality part without moving. Yeah. You know, for some reason, that would just be weird to me. Hitting and your I think shins that's why tables and people well, what's sick. crazy is yeah. when I first did it, they were like, we're going to put you in a movie theater and you're going to watch <laughs> Star Wars, right? Hey, dude, Jules is on. Oh, she, yeah, I know. She's texting me. She got mad at me because I had a beer in my hand. Hey, Jules. Because oh, <laughs> I had my church shirt on and, you know, I had a beer. She's like, you know, already give me a hard time, so. Old Jules, I'll make sure he's, what do you want him at a two-beer limit? Yeah. Put it in the comment section. Yeah. We'll, we'll cut him off at that point, whatever it is. She'd be like, cut him off now. And she has her own fitness channel, so. Oh, does she? Yeah. What's, her, what's her fitness channel? It's uh, Jules, J-U-L-E-S. Go, go, go to Jules. Alogio, A-L-L-O-G-G-I-O. I'm not spelling that. <laughs> if you but care you about did. fitness, she's no, the one to go to. Not, not my audience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, I, the first thing I ever tried was we were in, um, we were in a movie theater. So I'm going to put you in a movie theater. What, what movie do you want to go want to watch the empire strikes back it's like okay cool loads up empire it felt like i was at a theater like it was so amazing and then i looked down and i had no legs mm. and i oh. promise you for one <laughs> second my mind and everything felt like freaked yeah, out for just a second and i was like whoa and i did i did and i, and I it took me a minute sure it took me a minute that's how real it was yeah that's, that's how real it was and Man, at that point, at that moment, I was sold. Yeah. I was sold. I was like, okay. And then they just upped to Annie everything they would show me. Mm -hmm. Just amazing, you know? So, I don't know, man. I know that people are like, oh, it's not the future of gaming. It's a fad. And it might be. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be a cool one. Yeah, this way. one, I feel like, is going to be built to stay for at least a couple of years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they don't go completely with it, they'll take things from it, at least. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, there's bits of it that you can at least apply right. to build upon because the foundation of anything that's a peripheral is if your entire fan base like it's so hard to invest money in something that has such a limited audience yeah. which is why all the side peripherals always fail and if they can do something to establish you know people wanting to buy this and getting a huge user base or even saying hey next generation straight up everything comes with vr because that's part of the package you know maybe <laughs> right but i'm always afraid of people making like 30 dollar like tech demos yeah you know that's my biggest fear but if they can do it right, I'm totally... Yeah, because in comes the shovelware. Yeah. What, what's yeah. Up, anything. What's up, Black Metal Gamer? We're talking about VR. Yes. Oh, we got Black Metal Gamer on? Yeah. VR Troopers for Super Nintendo. That's um, what I'm talking about. Yeah. Even, I mean, <laughs> it'll be interesting because... And here's my problem with the Wii 
anything um, mm -hmm. is I'm just I am a lazy gamer. Sure. And if I just want to put put the controller in my hand and start playing, mm -hmm. if I got to hook up a whole VR everything, mm -hmm. and like you know. Make sure the doors are locked because I'm not gonna be able to see the kids. <laughs> People running around. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah, you know, or whatever, or whatever it is. So that's my only downside. Sure. Here. But man, I can tell you, it is amazing. That's man. that's huge, though. I think because, um, like me personally, man, I've got three kids and my wife's in the house and I'm playing games. So if I'm completely disengaged, <laughs> then you, that's like uh, heaven, right? You're in heaven. She's like, <laughs> exactly. She's like, maybe for me. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're in heaven exclusively. She's like, this is our chance, kids. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Bags are packed. And he's all like. <laughs> I take the headset off. Everything's, everything's gone. gone. There's like a table, a spoon, and like a lawn chair. Take some ice trays. So when it comes to actually playing it, are you going to prefer to sit down with, say, helmet on on your couch and you have full like motion tracking for your head? Or are you going to want a controller, or are you going to want like the two separate motion? I think the vibe sensing? has like, the right idea. Okay. I think the controller is a bad move. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll take it where I can get it. Sure. But I think the control. I think the controller is a bad move. I like the vibe where it's like. You still have to take two separate because it still yeah, gives you yeah. more control over. Okay. Feels yeah. more natural. That's what and I'm you thinking. You can as actually well. do. I feel like more with the actual. You can vibe. reach out and like I'm yeah. just going to use it to exploit physics in games. Like in Skyrim, if I walk into some dude's house, I'm just going to slap all the books off his shelf yeah. and leave. <laughs> That's the only thing that I want to do is abuse the power of physics in these games. Well, Black, Metal, like fantasy. Yeah. Black Metal Gamer says VR is more of an accessory for training and office simulated work experiences, in my opinion. Like having 20 open windows so you can get major work done. I think for gaming it'll be a fad. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. It's already got so. some uh, applications with some people actually using it to do interviews. Mm -hmm. sure. So, like for veterans, mm -hmm. did you guys hear about that? Mm -hmm. I haven't yeah. heard the veteran thing. Oh, yeah, so they're using the VR already for like training purposes for people to practice their interviews. Oh, okay. Essentially, like, that's all right. it is. A lot of practical application coming yeah. out of it. And so it, it can actually, like, it can notice, like, what your head movement is, like, okay, you're not maintaining eye contact, your uh, oh. voice, and everything like that. What about test driving a car? That's interesting. That would be free. <laughs> it's like, you want to see what the interior of the car looks There's like? There's so much physical well, mechanics that, yeah. to that, though, that, I mean... Uh, that's I a cool thing it. I like, though, about it is because, and I think... I'm always thinking about people who, who are handicapped or people who, who uh, probably can't get to like, what's that museum in France? The, the yeah. Louvre. The Louvre. Yeah. And they can't. They're not able to. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are. Who knows? You know. Yeah. But maybe through something like this, I could experience that. Virtual uh, tours you know? and things of that nature. Yeah. It actually has a more social application than anything. You right. Know, gaming is almost like a side effect of what it can do. Yeah. The virtual uh, tours is kind of interesting because if you even did a virtual tour, would that now decrease sales to the actual museum itself? Not if you make them pay for the virtual tour. Oh, my oh so you mean like every time, every time they, they want to go there, you have to pay again? Well, think about it though, almost in the regard of emulation. What it does is maybe spark interest to say, hey, I wonder what this would be like. But then to still spark into what it would actually be like, you know, to get like sort of like a taste of hey, maybe they only have it like locked down to like the first hallway or something, oh, you no. know? Oh yeah, DLC so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or unlockable content. You have to like get like the the boss or whatever. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, Pedro Sanchez says they'd like to he'd like to make a retro classic game into full 3D VR. Ooh, which game would you choose? Oh, so have you guys played the Zelda? Oh, it's great. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The what? So they did, they remade the Zelda. For NES. the eight bit Zelda yeah. mm -hmm. in virtual reality. Oh, really? Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's, it's and they gave like depth insane. to like mountains and stuff. Yeah, They're dude, still eight bit and like blocked out. Yeah, it's, it's all eight bit. Style, but it still has the Zelda textures. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's. Oh, God. And the Black Metal Gamer wants Doom, Kingsfield, and Resident Evil 1. Doom would scare me. Kingsfield's a funny choice, but I, I respect <laughs> that. And what's up, Bio Phoenix? Good to see you. <laughs> I would play Doom all day long in VR, though. The new Doom was one of my favorite games. I want, I want, I want, I want Doom Go. That's what I want. I would also like Doom Go. <laughs> I am trying to, to capture to put this on <laughs> yeah. my Facebook too. Yeah. So you can keep talking. So one, okay. one question that we always bring up in our podcast, mm -hmm. which you should totally check out. Here we goes. <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> what games are we playing this week? Oh man. Okay. Who wants to start that one? I can't. Let's go around to the circle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll start. You start. We'll, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing a game called <clears throat> Seventh Dragon VFD. Is that right? Yeah. V v VRD. I thought. VRD. Something yeah. like that. It's an RPG for the 3DS made by, published by Sega. Sega. Mm. Uh, so it is the devil. 
Who developed it? Uh, Shot it down. <laughs> Hold on. This guy loves Streets of Rage, too. Don't let him fool you. Wait, do you? Oh, yeah. I had a good time with it, yeah. We had a great time. So really? Why, why are you always knocking on Sega when they're the greatest? They're the greatest? What happened to the Dreamcast? I'm trying to remember. Let me see if I can go back and look this. Okay, let me tell you what. That doesn't make it not Don't fun. even, don't even. Well, doesn't mean it well, wasn't if they enjoyable. were so great, then why are they dead? You well, know, first of all, a lot about? of people would argue that the Dreamcast is one of the greatest systems ever made now. I do hear it from a lot of people. Oh, really? Customer, actually, yeah. customer feedback. I disagree with it, but I, I see why they would say that. That's fair. What because did, what, what it's cool, what's cool with the Dreamcast is it's open source. It's that's super true. easy to make games for it, and they still make games for it today. That's, that's crazy. You can play CDs on it. You can burn your CDs. Mm-hmm. I, so can't you already do it on the Xbox? No, no, you can you can burn games onto CDs. Oh, okay. you can burn because it was very easy. It's actually late. just like yeah, geez. it was it was a, a self booting ISO. Yeah. It's really simple. Uh, I'm, I think I posted it to super my Facebook. To I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I'm playing a little Overwatch, of course. Playing a little League of Legends. Uh, and I'm playing the Old Republic. Can I can I make a note that it's funny that you said now Overwatch, of course, I said League of Legends, of course. You know what I'm saying? Because you used to play every time on the show, he would always say, hey, I'm playing League of Legends, you know, playing, you know, bottom lane or whatever hell lane you play in that game. I don't know. <laughs> and now it's now it's now Overwatch, of yeah. course. Well, and League of Legends, of course, but, you know. Yeah, okay. Just making shit that people know. Just kicking ass, you know. That's my deal. It's yeah. fast, man. So what are you, John? <laughs> oh, man. I'm Right now, I'm, it's all retro right now. <clears throat> I'm playing uh, Castlevania Curse of Darkness for mm. PS2. How are you liking that, by the way? Uh, it's better than Lament of Innocence. Well, it's not better than Lament of Innocence. It's harder than Lament of Innocence. Mm -hmm. uh, Lament of Innocence was a great game, just it's way too easy. That's fair. The soundtracks. Uh, yeah. And those games are yeah. outstanding. Dude, everyone hates the 3D Castlevanias, but those two are the best 3D. I mean, Easily. besides the Lords of Shadows, mm -hmm. those two are hands down the best 3D, I loved 3D Curse. Castlevanias. Um, I'm kind of about halfway through it to start a planet a few days ago I've okay. actually never beaten Curse of Darkness oh, okay cool because uh, when I was is that for the 3DS? no it's, no, no, it's for, which one, what's it's one for, for the 3DS? And Xbox. that's Lords of Shadow Mirror Fate Curse I of Darkness I couldn't get was, into that yeah. so John one thing you just said made me want to cry a little bit what's that? you called it retro Retro? Is PS2 considered PS2 retro, retro, retro man. I think so. Is it yeah, two I generations it behind? Be. I think so at this point. 2001? Is it 2000? 2000. 2000. Yeah. Are we calling that retro? It's, it's, it's right on the line. It's past it is. It's it is. 16 it's year old right system. on the line. Yeah. Yeah. It's past a decade. I mean, the, de the definition of retro is anything old, old, older of the recent past, recent past or something like that. I think is the yeah. technical definition. But I don't know so. if that's the definition that we live by. Yeah. Right. I'm I feel scared. Like it's hard to classify. I consider it yeah. a <laughs> retro. Are you scared that a system you grew up playing is now retro or what? I'm feeling old. How old are you? 28. Yeah. You, uh, how, how do you think I feel? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm the oldest mother in this room right now. Like, yeah, so. no. Dude, holy cow. <laughs> I'm so old. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, so Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Um, I'm still kind of slowly working my way through Dark Souls 3. Mm. Maybe by Never played it. the next six months. It feels very Castlevania-esque. Yeah. Like, in terms of it's just straight difficult, you learn the patterns, you get further every single time. Well, I think I told you uh, about this. I played Dark Souls 1, and yeah. I go, I know why these are games are so hard, because the controls are horrible. Fair, <laughs> controls in Dark Souls is very clunky. I feel, Dude, I feel like the one thing I don't like about the controls on Dark Souls Three is I don't like that I use. I have it on Xbox One, and right. those triggers on there yeah. are not. The, it's not the 360 controller by any means, so they're kind of flimsy. And your main web, your your main attack is your. I guess that would be what is that right? It's right trigger. Right trigger. Yeah. So, right trigger. Yeah. yeah, a few times it got stuck on me, and I. I died. So. Yeah. Yeah. And you need every little bit of precision. It's kind of like playing Punch yeah, Out. It's, it's yeah. the, the controls are game. Uh, more methodical. Like they so. are. You yeah. can't just mash. I will go yeah. through them. At Which some is cool. Point. I, actually really I have them all now the except for that the recent one. Three? Dark Souls 3? Yeah. Okay. And then there's are they going to well, well, have a, like a. They have an add on content, right? DLC for it? Yeah. Not yet. I'm sure there will be. Yeah. 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 Those games are so popular. Okay. I just picked up Dragon Age. Mm. Oh, which one? Uh, uh, Origins? No, I got all Inquisition. Inquisition yeah. oh. Is that any good? No. Yeah, <laughs> so when we were talking about Final Fantasy, not looking forward to it. Yeah, that's why. I, it reminds me of Dragon Age. Okay. I, Inquisition, I could not stand. So you're talking about 15, right? Yeah. You played the demo? Yeah. Which version? Which demo did you play? The original? I played both. Okay. I mean, I know it's like it, to me, it's like a cross between Kingdom Hearts. Sure. Which is a game I don't really like. I actually don't like Kingdom Hearts either, which is weird. 
I don't. Yeah. I like Kingdom Hearts. It's I'm too really, long. I'm it's fine too long. Kingdom I don't Wars. care for Kingdom Hearts, and I really don't care for that Dragon Age Inquisition. That's fair. So Final <laughs> Fantasy 15 is like another. I felt it was just a much better pace. It was faster. It was easier to play. Like I enjoyed the combat. I can't think uh-huh. of any other game that I want to play more in my life. Breath of the Wild. Right now. The Final Fantasy? Is the, that's what I want to play Final Fantasy 15. No, that doesn't, that's uh, next Dragon year. But that's in my life. That's next. Presumably. Oh, yeah, well, it already right. came out. What's that? He probably played it already. Played what? Which one? Dragon Quest 7? The 3DS one. Oh, yeah, that comes out September. The you, remake you, of the PlayStation 1 version. Exactly what I'm saying. You, did you already <laughs> play it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what? Not the not the one that's coming now, but the original, the right? The original. original. Well, I want to play the remake. Okay, that's fine. The remake's going to be fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It is going to be amazing. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I mean, I can't think of a game I want to play more than Final Fantasy XV. Like, I took a week off. I'm just work scared because Dragon Age Inquisition was so boring to me. That's fair. Was it? It was just boring because it, it, it's, it's a single player MMO, essentially. Mm. To me. Though 12 you, was like that, and I love 12. You know, and the, the one thing I hate <laughs> I about like MMOs is that I got to interact with people. So this yeah. might be perfect. You That's fair. That? Yeah. Yeah, I don't play Overwatch. Look how Maddie got playing Overwatch earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? You're going to shoot me? Come on. <laughs> what is this? It's like this is an FPS or something. <laughs> Listen, man. I, well, I played Overwatch as a, as a favor. Now you're dissing me about it? Yeah. That's uh, Spencer's <laughs> model right there. Because Spencer's Just... like thinking, I'm going to pick up this game. I'm like, Spencer, thank you. Yeah. Good. He's going to so help much. you. For opening my eyes Thank you. to the Overwatch. Instead, he's, I was like, yeah. This- Joel's changed. He just doesn't realize it yet. No. <laughs> I, it's kind of like he just like had his period, but he didn't know it. And one day, he's going to come home and just open his pants, and there's going to be a bunch of blood. What is this? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> what is this scenario? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said, I said. It's a long way to get to this. Because we won. We won <laughs> in Overwatch. He's like, you won. I said, yeah, because I'm awesome. But that doesn't make the game awesome. Right. You know? That's right. You can be good at the game you hate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, get, get, like uh, Streets of Rage. No, I'm just kidding. I actually did like it. I saw. I, I heard yeah. that. Yeah. Whatever. So listen, let's just talk about this hate for Sega uh, for a second, because you're, you're, I think you're yeah. really missing out on some great games mm-hmm. if you continue to harbor this hate. Sega Genesis or Sega Now? Either. <laughs> yeah, there is no Sega, Sega now, now, really. Yeah. There's really no Sega Now. Yeah, let me try Sonic Boom and I'll tell you about yeah. it. <laughs> okay, and, let's, and let's, this came up. like Pete, Sonic Boom be the tonight, this, this came up in the, in the Sonic Tonight, Pete Dora, was, Pete Dora was saying, people rag on Sonic Boom. And he said the first like four levels are yeah, first couple hours, horrible. Dig through. And then all of a sudden... It turns into a good game, which is a, a terrible, you know, design well, ultimately. But yeah, what's up, Mushroom Studios Two? <laughs> uh, what, well, what'd you do to Mushroom Studios One? That's what I want to know. This, so, is the, this is a sequel. Yeah, and well, and it's like Terminator Two. It's actually well, better than the first. Though, for Sonic Boom, you have to play four hours of a bad game, and then maybe a great game. I how's agree. It, how's it great though? That's all he just said. It's a, a solid platform. He said it reminds him of Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter. He said it made him actually feel like he was playing those PS2 era like adventure games. It would sound good, right. but it is difficult as a selling point to trudge through. Like, hey, the first actual half of this game might be awful. Is it worth? I feel like there's other games no, that have that, done yeah, that with. Actually, I, mean, that, I, yeah, I, I give a game an hour. If I'm not if I'm not into it in an hour, I'm mm-hmm. out. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of a game that I played and I was just like. I wasn't feeling it, and then all of a sudden, it kicks in, and you're like, yeah. whoa, yeah, this is really good. This is really good, and I can't remember. It um, was just I would recent. say Pillars of Eternity did that to me. Was that, yeah. Pillars of I wasn't right. experienced with Baldur's Gate. Ooh, that's a good one you should go back um, to. And I, and, uh, Baldur's Gate is great. Yeah, and Pillars of Eternity, I, was, I wasn't really experienced so with that good. kind of game. And then Pillars of Eternity happened, and it's like, oh, okay, I mean, I, do, I play D&D, so... Familiar territory being run across here. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm, my cart broke down. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm in this weird place. And then, like, two hours later, I was like, I'm not going to stop playing this game ever. It's right. like, it was That's amazing. a good feeling when a game actually yeah. changes your mind like that, too, kind of on the fly. I'm Did you play to... Sonic Generations? No. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. This is easily the best Sonic game since, like, Sonic and Knuckles. Like, straight up without even a point of contention. It's so even the 3D segments are like this is what all the 3D Sonic games should have huge, actually been. But I wasn't a huge fan of Sonic and Knuckles. I okay, like, well I mean in terms of like the Genesis sort of like design right, of yeah. Sonic games, you know, because if you like one, two, three, or Knuckles, yeah, two's great. But yeah. does it have Blast Core processing? Because that's dude, all it's great. got that's Blast really, that's Core That's what two. you're interested in. It's got Blast right. Core two. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think yeah, oh, Blast Core two. It's got emotion engine processing. Oh my dude, goodness. like it's nuts. Yeah. Can you give me your top three Sega games? 
Whether it's Master System or Genesis. Any Sega. Any Sega. Any Sega. Um, you want to say Sega System or Sega Made? No, no, no. Like, let's... Any game you, on a Sega after System. After the Dreamcast, Honestly, I don't even think, think Sega, Sega counts games? anymore. But I mean, like, like even like on the Master System, are they talking like third-party games or like first-party Sega games? Down no, 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 no. We will be at Game On Expo tomorrow. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, Down Phoenix. Okay. And Mike Cook is on, too. General Chaos for Genesis. That game was rad. I mean, that rad. sounds like a Sega fan. You know what? You, <laughs> know, what you know what? Sonic yeah. game it does for some reason. Why? Why? Why is that? Because you know Sega's all about like being cool. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll tell you what. You know what Sonic game I really like that a lot of people hate is uh, 3D Blast. I actually really like that. That game. was a that kind of polarizing people. It was too people. slow. Yeah. Did you feel like, like you moved way too slow? I was never. I was never a Sonic fan. Right. Like I, I, I liked. One and two, uh, and then by knuckles because you got to connect things yeah. and crap. And I was just like, I don't know, man. I like the idea of you saying Sonic Blast is slow because it is. It's a slower paced Sonic game. Uh, but it's there was called a, Blast. A canceled version though called Sonic Crackers, and it's the actual premise is it's like Sonic 3D Blast except it's Sonic, and the the story is that he got his, his speech was removed. So like you're walking around slowly, and it's absolutely abysmal. Is that what gives Sonic his speed? I, I don't know. I'm sure. to the lore of this particular game, but it's okay. really like... It's, it's like, a lot of weird lore. <laughs> you know, you yeah, don't Chili Dogs anymore. are now official I canon. feel like Sonic is his own worst enemy. It's all over the place. The problem is also, you have this kingdom of Sonic-like fandom that yeah. has created infinite content that just buries everybody. Just look up uh, your name, the Hedgehog. There's something there. Yeah, Joel the Hedgehog. If you look that up, there's there's a drawing for it. Yep. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty, he's probably like brown. That's like that's, funny, that's just the regular Sonic, except he's like brown or purple or something. I would say Fantasy Star Online... It's one of my favorite second right. games. Sure. Good pick. I'll say this uh, Seventh Dragon VRD VFD game. You can't, no, that's modern. No. Go back. Is that, go is back. that Sega? Go to yeah. Sega that's Genesis. Yeah, I, think okay. I mean, I, I think it's written that it is Sega. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, Shenmue. Look, okay. That's a good choice. Okay. Did you like Shenmue? I love Shenmue. I love Shenmue. I, love Shenmue. I, love I watched somebody play it. I loved it. You have to go to the arcade and play Hang On with your allowance. Uh, and and the Streets of Rage. I like Streets of Beat'em ups are always fun, man. Right. But man, like... The, fa- the, the Fantasy Star series in, in general, if you like JRPGs, you're I would love missing to. out. I would love I to you. play those. They're hard to go back to at a, up a point. Really? Like if you didn't grow up with Fantasy Star 1, that is probably one of the most difficult RPGs to get back into. What's really? that or Dragon Quest? Uh, Dragon Quest is so much easier. Dragon, really? Quest, really? Dragon Quest is still archaic, but Fantasy Star, like... The, the the grind they're long is too. ten times worse. They're I think. long. They don't yeah. mess around. Yeah, they're really hardcore. Mm. They're, they're good, cool games, but I think it's more like Fantasy Star 1 if you grew up with it, you could play it. 2, 3, and 4 are more forgiving in design. Like, mm-hmm. you can still pop into those and be like, these are still good games. But 1, no, is, one is so good. It's a test of patience. It is a great game, but it's a test of patience is if you it? didn't grow see, up. See, I don't know. I pop it in, I hear that music, I'm mm-hmm. like, boom, I'm sure. Back. But see, that's the nostalgia. Yeah, right. exactly. So yeah. I don't know. As a brand new entrance, oh, it's worth trying to see. But like you literally have to grind for like two hours to go to the city to buy like the one next sword. And by the time you get to the next city, you need to grind another two hours to get the next best sword. And it's just that the grind is longer than other RPGs. It feels harder. I was telling someone, I was like, oh, you got to play Spellcaster on the Master System. It's so good. And they basically almost defriended me <laughs> when that when they did and played it. And they're like, "This I don't even know what I'm doing in this game. And I'm like, really? What, wait, I never even heard of this game. What is this? Spellcaster? You ever played Mystic Defender? Yeah, okay, on, yeah. on Sega Genesis, so yeah. this would be the one before that. Ooh, I didn't know it was yeah, one before. Uh, so yeah, there, a lot of people don't, but there, there's a, there's the actual Mystic Defender is actually actually Ooh. Mystic Defender is actually the third in the series because there's one actually for the Famicom. Really? So then, and then there's one for the Sega Master. System, I can't imagine one. how like just backwards basic those games were. Oh, dude! Like, so I'm like, man, is it that bad? And I'm like, I'm gonna do a review, and I went back and I played it. And a game that I used could I could run through not run through but I knew it pretty well it took me another three weeks to beat it again because it's yeah, it's tough man it's tough it's kind of like revisiting a movie. Mushroom Studios too says that Majora's Mask is bay, and I will say I totally agree with you. But they're talking about Sega right now, so let's kind of <laughs> let's kind of we'll get into that. Give them that yeah. Sega yeah. moment that we'll they need to have. That. Yeah, because they need to defend this. We'll get into reason. Majora's Mask. Well, dude, I'm just saying like there's so many like. Like Wonder, what, what Wonder Boy 3. What don't you like alone. about it, man? You, you gotta tell us what you don't like about it. I mean, uh, the thing is, I don't even love it. It's just the well, fact that you uh, hate it. Sega killed my parents. Uh, oh, that's fair. That happened uh, to a lot of people. Uh, well, why don't you just start with that? <laughs> yeah, we can avoid this whole understand. conversation. <laughs> we just saved ever... ourselves a good 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> the easiest. It's a very roundabout way. Um, so, out in Albuquerque, um, we never got the Sega Channel, but Rio Rancho did at the time. So, I never grew that's up so weird, huh? with the Sega Channel. Do you I ever have that either. out here or anywhere you lived growing up? We had it. 
Dude, but I didn't we even couldn't, know. I couldn't afford it. I didn't yeah. even know the Sega Channel existed growing up. That's how poor we were. Gotcha. <laughs> it yeah. was like, I get a game for my birthday. I get a game for Christmas. <laughs> Every now and then, my dad's got to go to the flea market <laughs> to get some meat. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll get a game then. But, uh, yeah. Fair enough. Strider. <laughs> were you aware of the Sega Channel? What's up? Were, were you aware of the Sega Channel? Yeah. Okay. And you as well? Yeah. Okay. So, I because the fact that they had that over Nintendo, over, I mean, almost anybody, a streaming game service was infinitely ahead of its time. Way. You know, the next closest thing well, was the Sega X-Man. did that a lot. Sega was always a step ahead. They did. They tried a lot of things at the wrong time. <laughs> I yeah. Think, you know. It's Dude, always that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Their timing was just off. The Dreamcast, yeah. the Saturn, everything sort of just kept declining. But, man, the Sega, the Genesis, man, it, it put up a fight. One of the biggest strengths that we were talking about in the car ride on the way down here was the fact that, like, during the console wars, you know, where you had software that was, you know, Vector Man versus Donkey oh, we Kong were, yeah, yeah. and Sonic and Knuckles versus, you know, Mario World 2 and things of that nature. You but then also you had, had third party. You had Castlevania in one system was different than Castlevania in the other. Contra here was different than Contra there. Mortal Batman Kombat. and Robin, Mortal Kombat. Like, I mean, Aladdin. But, like, Mortal Kombat like, was still, Aladdin. Is Lion King. Like, That's what came up. Yeah, there were games where, that were like, straight two up different full games. different games. Yeah. And, and Bio- I think that was really cool. BioVX says Shinobi 3 is an amazing Genesis game. Oh, uh, uh, the Revenge of Shinobi is a way more amazing game. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite game of all time, yeah. and I will defend it to the day because, yes, I'm not trying to take anything away from Shinobi 3. Mm-hmm. Great game, but does it have Batman in it? Does it have Spider Man? Does it have Godzilla? That's a fair point. Does it have Terminator? <laughs> does it have Rambo? No. Which no, or Shinobi has all the It does. Players. Like oh, so, they were just like. So the late '80s just threw up on Shinobi <laughs> yeah. games. And yeah. basically, well, they had, at, at some point they had all these licenses because they had just made Rambo Three. They had uh, Spider Man license. They had, but they st- slowly started to lose. There's six versions of the Revenge of Shinobi on the Sega Genesis. Okay, that's because I'm like and I don't remember like, any of this. So every <laughs> year the they re-released it. Like they took Batman out and they put Devil Man in. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, I mean, they, it's Devil Man. It's a Japanese, you know, it's a Japanese animation. animation. Going to guy. Yeah. If you haven't watched <laughs> Devil Man, you, you <laughs> like should do yourself a favor. Knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How, what's Naruto again? <laughs> I, I think I called it like a cat. Yeah, cat blonde cat. cat with blonde with cat attack. Yeah, <laughs> blonde cat with cat attack. I know virtually little about anime, like almost nothing. But this guy might know less than. Oh, but you know, <laughs> every like. We're, we're a little bit older, but everyone watched Devil Man. Mike, Mike Cook's movie. asking, he thinks Aladdin, Earthworm Jim are better for Genesis than SNES. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Earthworm Jim had the extra level, the intestinal yeah. distress, I think, is the one. And um, and I feel like the Lion King is better on the Super Nintendo than it is on the Genesis, as well as... There's other games that are really... Like, Castle... I, I love Bloodlines, but yeah. that Super Castlevania it's all game. is sweet. Mm-hmm. But then you also have like Flashback, which is straight up a better port, hands down, yeah. on the Genesis. You know, things like that. Clock speed made a big difference for some of those ports. Well, then I guess that kind of makes me think, what do you guys think was a better console? SNES I, or get Genesis? Okay, I, I'm, even though I'm a Sega fanboy, <clears throat> I will still say yeah, Super say. Nintendo is probably the better system. Because color and sound was just yeah. like leagues better, and those were the two most prominent things. You know? And as a Sega fanboy, it hurts to say that. <laughs> but, no, I agree with that. But the Super Nintendo you gotta is admit, like... you got a problem. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean... Also but for me, like nostalgia wise, what I want to collect, what I want to get, man, well, I want that either. altered beast, I want that Strider, I want that Golden Axe, man, sure. I want that Mystic Defender, I want that Revenge of Shinobi, Dude. and it's all Sega Genesis. That Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah. SNES That's had a better, like you said, better color palette, better graphics, better sound. I remember going over to my cousin's house, because <clears> I, I had a Genesis. And I remember going over there and he had Donkey Kong Country. I'd never played a Super <laughs> Nintendo game. I put Donkey Kong Country and I'm like what the hell, man? Yeah, why does Sega this looks like anything? ten times better than <laughs> and the Genesis you, game. you do really see <laughs> yeah. the limitations of the Genesis when you play a game yeah. like... Transparency effects and all that. Like of... Donkey Kong Country. It's just pushing the hardware to its fullest. And they pushed it two more times. The, the games got better it's and better. so crazy. Somehow. And then Yoshi's yeah. Island and Final Fantasy VI. And like, it just kept going. It was crazy with that. I almost it. wish it ended there. Right. <laughs> we were still playing Super Nintendo games, pushed to the max. Yeah. And that's the thing you had brought up the whole console, like how games were different from you know Genesis to um, Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Now, like the whole console war thing now is just 
for us, as we're a little bit older, it seems just kind of silly. It's like, well, which controller like, do you like better? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah because, and that's, that's what we're talking about. Like Call, Call of Duty is Call of Duty across the yeah. board. If, Call, if you had exclusives in Call of Duty, like you had like Nathan Drake in like the PS4 version, yeah, of right. that would be a seller, but it's, it's no Which is kind of like what Mortal Kombat did. They put Kratos... Oh yeah, yeah. Combat, mm-hmm. you know, and stuff like that. And I did kind of like when Soul Calibur was like, "Hey, every at the Xbox yeah. you get Spawn, Yoda, Spawn. and whatever." Or I forgot how oh, yeah, it went. Uh, and then PlayStation too, was yeah, Spawn. I love this. Yeah, oh, wait, was the PS that had Spawn? Because I don't remember. No, Xbox had Spawn. Xbox had Spawn. Or Nintendo had Link. Yeah, Link. Like, yes, come on, dude. Like that. Yeah. Oh, Hayati. Yeah. And then PS Soul Calibur Four was the one that had Yoda and Vader. Vader. And then Star Killer was common. Yeah. And they just eventually came out for both, which is kind of nice. Right. But. Which made like it that, all pointless. That's cool. <laughs> I know. But, you know. Like that, which, which exclusive do you want first? Yeah. Right. Time exclusives are always weird. But where on that Sega or Super Nintendo, they were just straight up different games. And yeah. that was awesome. It was cool because, in, in addition to, like, yeah, like the. Uh, the, the the battle call was you know we have this software exclusive made by Sega we have this software exclusive made by Nintendo and so you already had like a huge war going on but then when the third parties ended up you know pushing out multiple versions of games I think it really made each system very much worth owning and like the one thing because like, being a Mortal Kombat fan from the jump mm-hmm. Sega Genesis is the only one that had blood oh yeah like, I mean, Le- Le- Le's better it sold like ten to one or something but like, but I still couldn't deny it looked a lot better on mm-hmm. The Super Nintendo, man. and then once two hit, like it was, moved. yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah it I was like, <laughs> sorry, Sega, I gotta go play over here because <laughs> yep. it just looked, it looked so one of the best ports ever. Yeah, it was, was Mortal Kombat two on the Super Nintendo. Phenomenal. What they did with that, you know, amazing. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, John's kid's really good at Soul Calibur. Yeah, my four year old, she plays Soul Calibur two on the Xbox. The yeah, best, the best Soul yeah. Calibur. Sweet, yeah. Is that the Dream? No, the Dreamcast one's the, the best. Number one. So I, I find my that Xbox at Goodwill, okay, <clears throat> for nine dollars. And I, if you give a shit about prices, but who cares? Sure. Um, I take it home. I well, I go to the game store here in the, in the area, and I haven't tested. It works. Yada yada yada. Soul Calibur two is like three dollars. I'm gonna grab this, grab a controller. I get it home. My four year old wants to play. I'm like, all right, go ahead. She'll screw around with the buttons. Put it on easy. She goes through and beats the entire damn game. Like, well, you know, your first character to your last character. Sure. I'm like, wow. Wow. Parenting yeah. victory. Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> yeah. That feels good. But yeah, she, she really digs it. Um, that and a few other games. My, so I got yeah. a little gamer on my hands. My kids, oh man, they're, since they were born with a controller, you know? So, mm-hmm. like, TIE Fighter, he, I think he beat Contra when he was like four. Or something like that. I don't think I can't be contra. Um, (laughs) Shame with the well, 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 shame with with the codes. Yeah, with the codes. Sure, for Um, sure. You know, I was spoiled. I had a a game genie for my Nintendo, and I I I used it a lot. I was fun to mess with. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I can go through contra without a code. Mm -hmm. I I love contra. Mm -hmm. Love it. No code, no continues. I think both you and I could probably do that. Yeah, not together. No, two player. Well, we could, game. we could. We would really have to put in some time. Yeah. Two, <laughs> playing two player contra it changes the game so is, much. It makes it a hundred times more difficult. Oh yeah, sharing the screen. And for my birthday, we, I, we usually uh, pull out. Uh, we go, on my birthday, we always go through Punch Out mm-hmm. and beat it every year. And you know, I just seen a meme today that had like, uh, what is it? something like? You can tell me all your accomplishments in life, but if you've never beat this guy. It means nothing, <laughs> it means and nothing. it's a picture of Tyson, <laughs> you know. And it's hard, but we, we, you know, we try to get it done every year. You know, that's it's like rough. Oh man. Well, speaking of um, Punch Out, they're coming out with the new or on the that new NES Mini. They're going to have Punch That'll Out. That'll be on there. Of course, Mike Tyson won't be on. Yeah, there. Right. Mr. Dream, sure. right? Yeah, we had a, also a good conversation about this on the way up, and just the NES Mini in general. And it's, I'm excited. I think it's a phenomenal thing, and our client base at my store is going to be eating this thing up. Mm-hmm. You know, not necessarily made for people like us. But for people who want that and like the diversity of games with, you know, 30 very good games, 15 licensed, 15, you know. I like the fact that it's just that it, Nintendo is making it. Official. Not some third party. Yeah, not licensing that, it to somebody else. Yeah. Nintendo's making it, which makes me think these emulators are probably going to work and hopefully High quality, Tyson. HDMI. Yeah. Because, man, Tyson, you need this, like, I frame can't play perfect. it on the Retron. You need frame perfect. I can't tracking. play it on the Retron 5 yeah. because you need that. Yeah. To the frame of yep. the second to beat him, and you can't get that. Yeah. I think my biggest concern about the NES Mini is 
I want them to make enough. Right, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I want it to be everywhere because my biggest fear is these scalpers you know, are going to get a hold of it. I know. And then, yeah. it's, you know, you see it, you're going to see them on eBay for 150 bucks. I'm hoping not. Well, it seems like how much media attention it's, it got mm-hmm. and everything. I think they're pretty well, they're going to prepare uh, it. I, I, I hope so, too. I think they're going to short it. They they're gonna show it all because it does that. Because I don't, well, no, I don't think they understood what the me like amiibos what, no, what that was gonna be like. I think like. they know. I think they know because it makes it seem like it's every high and there's also I've ever tried to get from Nintendo has always been short. I try yeah. to get that uh the the GameCube the adapter. Game adapter. And for months. <laughs> yes, months. <laughs> yeah. Short. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I wanted an amiibo. What's up, fuck yourself? <laughs> That's his great name. That's, That's his right? name. It's Fook. Oh, Fook. F-U-K. Yeah. Sorry, Fook <laughs> yourself. I didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, is that Indonesian? Or is that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you say I'm yeah. name wrong, I thumbs down. Yeah. I'm, I'm scared of that as well, too, of uh, an artificial shortage or an actual shortage. Because um, our distributor uh, mailed us and said, you know, how many of these things can we order? And I said, I want as many as possible. But they said, you know, we still have to have a cap because smaller stores can get only so many, bigger stores get X amount. And so we might be stuck with 10 per store because they have to allocate, you know, carefully because yeah. Nintendo's only sending them so many. And they're just one distributor amongst, you know, because they don't do, can you go stuff, they don't do best buys. Not effectively, no. Most of yeah. the other distributors in our area aren't very good. Right. So if I see them at Walmart, didn't. I'll be happy because then I know there's enough of That's them. That's what I'm sort of thinking yeah. and hoping, yeah. If Toys R Us and Best Buy and Target and everybody's getting them, we should well, be alright. Yeah, that's what I felt like is going to happen, right? I'm hoping so. Best even scenario. like those toys, like, um, who makes those? Neko? Is that who it is? Nico? Neko Toys? Yeah, they make those like Jason. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Neko Toys. Like those are amazing. Toys R Us and stuff. Yeah. And like you can find them anywhere. The ba- I was afraid they were online only or something. Exactly, so those are cool. And they're yeah. making, um, God, what did I see? Oh, the they're making Turtles in Time. Those are uh, con- Comic Con exclusive. Oh, were they? No, it's uh, terrible. I want them so badly. <sighs> it's yeah. over, so it's already out. Yeah, you buy them on eBay for $5,000. Oh my goodness! I didn't know that was a Comic Con exclusive. Yeah, oh, I, know. I was so excited, so excited to get those. You see the Contra ones? Yeah, yeah. They awesome. have little like, clear like uh, stands that hold the bullets up. Is that like, Comic Con too? No. Okay, those should be I gotta general. get those. Yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta get those. I've almost gotten those guys tattooed on me because yeah, I love Contra so much. Just a man said he used to bet on pong tricks. <laughs> what? I like that, but I don't understand it. Pong tricks? Pong tricks. Like. Playing like doing special like stunts in the game. Pong. Is that like pong hustling or something? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is sharking somebody? <laughs> so you yeah, know, my hand. I don't know how to use one. <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, trick trick hand. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Go. Pong for it every time. <laughs> he's just hustling the same kid. <laughs> And then he said, so, I don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, and Mike Cook says, Punch Out is great. Back in the day, I also got Power Punch Two. Thinking it would be kind of like it. Oh, right. it. Which is actually the sequel. <laughs> is it? It's developed to, by somebody else. To yeah. Punch Out. Wasn't it like in space? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I the only way you can take a sequel to sports games. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. After Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that that was oh, that's <laughs> yeah, officially the sequel. Like Am I wrong? <laughs> I can't find anybody here on Am I wrong? Is that not officially the sequel? Um, I think like, it was honestly, developed with that in mind, but it's not Nintendo developed. It was the thing. We actually, I discussed it in the podcast with Michael a couple weeks back, but I can't remember the specifics. He actually looked it up for me, okay. so I don't know. I was going to look it up, but then I was like, man, it's, I'm too, it's you too can't late. Look it it's up. too I mean, late. That's it. It's too fast. To, to look it up. Right. No, no. Well, okay. What's next? What do we got here? Oh, yeah. You, you play Dark Souls <laughs> and uh, Castlevania. That's what you're playing. Is that where we're at? We yeah. Like, yeah, dude. Like, we, did, we, did a we went down the street and turned around. Oh, dude, this is how we do it. <laughs> this is, we yeah. just, so it's it's all just made by Beam Software. Beam. Uh-huh. Okay. Typical Beam. It's all Beam. Oh. Oh. Yeah. How do we do now? Yeah. Beam always. <laughs> well, I also just recently picked up a GameCube, so I've been playing some uh, Mario Sunshine and... Um, which I've never okay. played. Mario Kart Double what Dash. What do you think about... Dash. Okay. What do you think about both those games? I actually want to look at it as well. Yeah. Double Dash is probably the best... No, stop, okay, thank stop, you. Stop. Oh my god, yes. thank you, man. You I guys are god. no. I just, it's Tim and the Sega and the wrong. <laughs> to be wrong. And the stream right. And the stream right now. No, no. Keep the stream going. The, best one Mario Kart the, two, the two biggest guys no, here. I mean, I just joking? said Double Dash is the best. You can argue okay. with us. There are a couple. Of Mario Kart there. 64. Is the oh, best Mario Kart. It's good, good in the world, but it got it got significantly better from sixty four. Yeah, yeah I, I love sixty four. Uh, we need we need to help out uh, just a man four hundred. 
Okay. He says, I've been in a gaming slump. What's a good one for the Xbox One? I'm Ooh. Doom. Xbox One. Uh, yeah. And it's not exclusive, but like it's a phenomenal game. I do. I, Tomb, Tomb Raider. Raider. Tomb Raider. Oh, Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider and regular Tomb Raider. Um, yeah. if, you, if you like TV shows, then uh, Quantum Break. If you don't like TV shows, then don't touch it. I thought you were going to say MacGyver for some weird reason. I don't know why. Uh, MacGyver? Just, when you, you say TV shows, it's the first one that pops up. MacGyver the game? I wish. On the Xbox Dude, One. Could, they, MacGyver as a Telltale's game? Dude, yeah, yeah. That would be pretty slick. Because you could pick up literally anything on the ground and make like a grenade. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it's, uh, leaves in I think dirt. Tomb Raider's their best bet. Yeah, that's a really solid choice. Like, that's the only game that's good on the Xbox Dead song. Rising 3. I have put uh, so many hours. Because I, I, I played the game. Uh, here's what happened. Here's what happened uh, in this game. I played it for a little bit. Played about half the game. I was like, you know what? I don't care for this. Went on a hiatus for a year and a half. Watched the movie Dead Rising. Watched Tower. was like... Oh, right. I like that. I have seen that yet. So then I ended up popping three back in, playing it for a bit, and I was like, oh, wait, no, this is really good. Then I played through it like four more times. I was like, oh, my God, this game is really good. Then I downloaded Super EX Turbo Plus Alpha, whatever it was, and played through that like a thousand times, and that was phenomenal. So Dead Rising is one of those games where it took me, the first one on the, was it a 360? Mm-hmm. That took me a while to get into it. I was just like, yeah. let's not get into it. And then it, at some point it goes... Boom, and I'm Once there. Click, I could click this. Yeah, but it took me a while. But, as but well. you didn't stop, right? Exactly. It's, it's some. Yeah. It's some weird about that game because I was the same way. I was yeah. like, I, I'm not having fun yet, yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to stop playing. What helps and you? Oh yeah, continue. Oh, no, no, no. It's a Sonic Boom effect. No, it's that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Going back to I play awesome Sonic Boom. Sega. Game sucks. Also, as you as, as, you, as you continue to keep your level and your items, and you keep leveling up from one to two to fifty, eventually, you mm-hmm. know, you're more and more powerful to the point where you're basically a god running through this game, right. and zombies aren't a threat any longer. It's just getting things done just in the meantime. Interesting ways. And sometimes I like oh, right, exactly. I like games like that. Sometimes it's like you get to god mode, you get yeah. to god stats. And, and I think just... the way the game gives you so much to play with. And that's why I love enjoyable. Resident Evil because after you beat them. Um, you get, yeah. usually get like the handgun, oh, yeah. infinite ammo, infinite yeah. ammo, Slip and I'm just like, I'm going through again, tower, and you just die, 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 one die, shot die, everything. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I agree. That's my favorite. So, so why were you asking him, John, about Mario Sunshine? And Sunshine and Double Dash. I think he wanted oh, like he just want to know what you thought no, no, about Sunshine. Him. Well, okay, and then he made that weird statement that Double Dash is the best Mario Kart or something. That hurt. I don't even know what that is. Double Dash is the best Mario Kart. Thank you for saying that, Joel. Um... Also, you got Mario me. Sunshine gets a bad rap. But it I does. Play, I played I play okay, Sunshine well, all the way through, it and it's great. It's a terrific yeah. game. And you know what's funny about it? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I didn't like I didn't like Sunshine when it came out. Uh-huh. Uh, I had a Dreamcast oh, yeah. and a PS2 yeah. back in the day. Yeah, I had a GameCube briefly, but it was like it was kind of like the Wii Wii U. It was like you're waiting forever <clears> for games to come out. Sure. And eventually, I was like, you know what? I'm done with this thing. Mm-hmm. And I went back to it, and I, I really like it, man. I mean, it's, it's... But this time I went in expecting something different. I think before, when I was younger, I was expecting Mario. Right, you know, Mario stopping before. Mario. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. And that's not what you got with it's that It's a very one. different style of game, but it's great. And that's that what's is. great about Mario is that you can... You can kind of get you can get sick of Mario and then leave and then come back and go. I remember it's, this. Uh, fresh and wonderful. Yeah. I remember this beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, like Mario, man, Mario sixty four. Every time I Ooh. boot it up, I'm just like, yeah. Swimming through the clear water and like yeah. the, playing know, with his nose. Uh, dude, yeah, even uh, there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, your mom's chest hair says uh, Double Dash is the best Mario Kari. Kari. So the reason, Thanks, Mom's chest here. The reason <laughs> Double Dash actually bothers me. Is I, we got the, like, <laughs> everyone that's coming in has the funniest screen names yeah, tonight. It dude. has some of the best mechanics. The two-player mode is unparalleled. Uh, the cooperation needed to excel at the game is great. But the biggest problem they have is whenever you turn, your car slides opposite of where you're turning so much that I hate driving. I love everything else about it except for the driving. Really? Yeah. Is so that so, so the main mechanic is the <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's a problem for <laughs> me. When I'm playing a game where your, your, your main objective is to drive, the driving bothers me. And it's it takes some getting used to, but I don't like that right. it's getting used I think to in that regard. See, I think that's what happened. I got so used to it that I actually ended up like loving it. Okay, and that's that. fair. Yeah. yeah, I think once you because once you wrap your head around a mechanic, it's just part exactly. of you, and then it's fine. See, it doesn't bother me though. Yeah, it bothered me because all the other ones are so tight and immediate. I think you might have to just. I thought it was just new. Maybe it's you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, I don't care too much, and I played it a lot, but I don't care too much for the Super Nintendo <gasps> Mario Kart. That's still one of my favorites. How dare you? That was great for its and time. It's hard to go back to And, and I think it would. It's I, it suffers from good. something I call the Golden Eye Syndrome, mm-hmm. which is where there's a time, like, oh, for a whole year, that's what everyone played, oh, yeah. and I got so sick of it. Mm. You know, like Golden Eye, if I heard, 
Da -da -da -da. I was gonna kill someone because that's all I heard in my. Why well, didn't you play first person shooters? That doesn't surprise. Shut me. it. <laughs> and maybe that's where it all stems from. Like, yeah, we're, we're getting on to something here. Yeah, no, like we're, we're getting deep into my. I should just go take a seat on the couch. You guys just evaluate. Yeah. My hate for uh, FPS is. Yeah. See, I love first person shooters, man. So Joel, you're saying you need to get good. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you, you, have, you have a big case of getting good. <laughs> I've tried to get good. I have. I just don't. I can't grasp it, man. Is it all first-person shooters or certain ones? I know there's some that like stand yeah, out as what, enjoyable to you. Yeah. I, I honestly feel them. like I suck at everyone. Oh, okay. Like I've tried. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, I've tried. I'm, I'm starting to see the psyche now. <laughs> I think the best I ever got was Modern Warfare 2. Um. Because I really liked it. I liked the graphics. I liked the mm -hmm. story. I mean, I get online and... <laughs> well, here's the thing. Do you... Do you... Do you like... Uh, ours is your only... I mean, this is probably a dumb question. Because you're probably a little bit older than me. But are the first-person shooter games the only ones you've played or the ones online? Because I love first-person shooter games... But I'll never play one online. Cause no, like I went, same thing. I go on. Yeah. I spawn. I'm dead. I go over here. I spawn. I'm dead. I'm like yeah. this. I mean, you know. You know like I, I, yeah. Here's the thing. You gotta do it the opposite. You gotta go online first when everyone's fresh and new, yeah. game, <laughs> and then play then, mm -hmm. and then go back to the story. Because all them kids you play after the story, they already been beaten in, whooped, yeah. and now they're ready to whoop. Well, like I played, I then. played Bioshock. Mm -hmm. And Bioshock's a hard game. It wasn't though. That's the weird really? thing. I ran oh, right through it, game. and I'm like, not the, not I don't. The second one I honestly one. think <clears throat> I never died. I honestly want to say I did not die in Bioshock. Bioshock. Is no Dead Space is third person, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, did you die in that? Yeah. Dude. Okay. Especially trying. I got my platinum in Dead Space. That was oh. tough. <laughs> oh, because you had to beat it through the with I just the. The gun they give you? No, the default <laughs> pistol river. Uh, I don't want to rip my hair out. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I, I love Dead Space, the mm -hmm. first one. So good. Play a crappy atmosphere, and the sound usage in that game is beyond ridiculous. And I have two and three, never played them. Have I them. Never I heard play two, but not three. So three seven. Somebody can corroborate that. Yeah, uh, I think so. Th so three it has is... Some it's just a little bit more... It's like an action. Yeah, it, it Resident Evil 5 did, or so 6 did. Here's the thing about something like that. Is it a bad game that you say don't play because it's not as fun as the others, but it's fun in its own regard? Because it might still be worth trying. Like Resident Evil, when it shifted paradigms radically, I prefer those kind of action games more. Yeah. But there's, you know, they're still worth playing to people just to see if they might like certain elements. Right. You know? So if you say don't play Dead Space 3, is it because it's like an awful game or because it's different? Oh, no, 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 this is different. Okay, so it's still worth playing. It's fun. It's literally sure. the Resident Evil 5-4. Okay, of its series. and I'm down with that. I love and how like, people hate the silliness of 5, but they forget that 4 has like a gigantic Mexican guy statue that chases out. And, and it's like, and like here's back, back, or like, did that back presses, like suplexes. Beat. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> I like that 4 is ridiculous. 4 is people's <laughs> favorites. Bugs me. Why? It's my least favorite. It's either four or two, right? It's my least it's favorite. favorite. Two is my favorite. Two is my favorite down. traditional. Wait, I hate playing it because <laughs> I hate playing uh, those games. I do love one. Tank control. I do. I love one. Can get flushed down the toilet. I do love one, but two, so two is a masterpiece of a video game. It's a great game, but I hate playing it. I watch somebody play all day. It just if, like playing. It feels like I'm just going to work and just doing accounting for a hundred years. No, it. it uh, you have to the whole. You have to hate yourself. The That's whole hard. system. Is backwards. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, controlling those games is the but, problem. Man, but well, you don't like tank controls? Game. Nobody likes tank. Controls. I love tank controls. If, would you play Animal Crossing with tank controls? I don't play Animal Crossing. Period. Okay. Would Crossing. you play League of Legends with tank controls? I don't play League of Legends. Period. Okay. Yeah, you do. I played it once with you. you play League of I feel like the only yeah. game tank controls ever worked for is Resident Evil. For some yeah, <clears> because else is like, you know, to it, me it always felt fine. Yeah, I never. Oh, it's I was doable. Never like, but it's frustrating but when because I, it thinks I think the game is scary based on the fact that like yes, you can't exactly articulate your movement. Exactly. You know, it's, like, it suffers from the death. The, Demon Souls, or what is it? Kind of, yeah. Like the control's so Dark clunky, Souls, yeah. like it's hard because I can't control my character. They can aim one of three directions, and you know they can spin around clumsily. That's exactly the fear of it. It's like, yeah. oh, I so, gotta get there! Yeah, I'm scared because I have to turn around over the course of six Yeah, that's what makes it so yeah. scary. It's yeah. like, and it's not even like a realistic fear. It's like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up those stairs. Yeah, but then three, <laughs> Resident Evil 3 added like that dodge feature, which I really liked. I'll tell you, three yeah. is terrifying because when that nemesis. It's much comes faster out, paced. I like that, actually. Oh my god. I think two's a better game, but three scared me more. 
And I never had a problem with the tank controls. I never understood when people go, I just can't control yeah. it. I'm like, what? what's wrong with you? I can't. It's doable. It's just and I then yeah. years have gone by, and then I bought that collector's edition mm. for the PS4. And I'm like, can't wait. Popped it in. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like I'm like, I don't know how to move this guy. Takes a lot of games. I literally too. got done playing Resident Evil Five. Like I did the whole yeah. game with my cousin. I love every bit. I love Dude, Five. I, I, love, I love, love Resident Evil five. five, and no one loves it. I love Five. I played the hell out of that game. Five Phoenix says he doesn't mind tank controls, but depends on the game. Never oh, use them in a platformer oh, yeah. ever. That's definitely fair. Oh, we, yeah, is there a platform. platform with tank Tomb controls? Raider. The originals. Yeah, and this that's is what right. I yeah. All of them are tank yeah. controls, yeah. That's right. That, that was that's my question. That's yeah. I, was about to start, I, I think <laughs> I asked, I said, is Laura Croft? Like, what yeah, it wasn't guess? until like, and I knew it wasn't Laura Croft. Darkness or something that's around right. that era, they, they switched it, but it was like five games of tank controls. And it was See, miserable. it didn't work for that. No. Like Tomb Raider? <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe Talk that's my about, association. I want to throw my controller through the TV. Yeah. And I've never had a love for Tomb Raider. And that's why I stayed away from... The new ones? The new ones for so long. Oh, and then so when, I, when I went back, I was just like, <laughs> it's I'm so when you sorry. Press left, you go Why right? did I? Yeah. yeah. You press right, you go right. You press down, you walk that way. It's great. That, that it's game, so interactive. That, that, that game, game blew up my game. PS4. Dude. That explains me. Like it just, I don't really like the older ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're miserable to play. Mm. And she shifts around like really slowly. Like she does yeah. a shuffle. He said Bubsy, Bubsy 3D had it too. Oh, oh yes, it did. Yeah. That game's even more miserable. Uh, yeah. I have a silly but that's copyright. like bad programming as well. as Yeah, yeah people who hated the game programmed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> people who hated themselves. Yeah. People who hated video games programming. Like, yeah. Probably like cutting his wrists or something. Yeah, so, They're yeah. like, you need to make this Bubsy game. I'm like, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> make all right. Make <laughs> game. On the keyboard, <laughs> yeah. It was... You want controls? Here you go. <laughs> yeah, that was. I feel like that that whole the place like Nintendo sixty four, PlayStation one that was such a <clears throat> weird time of gaming because everything's yeah. so new Everybody's and you're trying, trying things, mm -hmm. and there's so much garbage. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, very clunky. It's, it's, it's hard. So it's much hard to go back to fifth gen games. That right? being said, though, when a game shined, it shined like yeah. Mario's. And it, what boggled my mind is the first person to do it yeah. is Nintendo. Mario 64, and they nail it. Yeah, the bar is immediately set to the highest degree. <laughs> Why can't anyone at least Im imitate yeah, that? Yeah, so we should have just been like, can we just do exactly what they yeah, do? Exactly. Mario yeah, exactly. They were like, no, no, we got this. Yeah. Because Mario ain't got shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no. Okay, all right, speaking about that. Crash was what, good, though. That's Crash what I'm going to say. Really what do you guys think about Crash Bandicoot? Yeah. Crash Bandicoot is fantastic. Game. Honestly, didn't like it. Yeah, I wasn't well, a huge honestly, fan. Because the, the way it was built, the way it was built was this is the Mario 64 I liked it killer. in Uncharted 4, and that all, was and, sick. And all you do is you run down a hallway towards the camera where something's chasing you. The side-scrolling parts I actually enjoyed, but I never liked like the tubular yeah. kind of like adventure. I always thought that was very just like forced. Like all the side-scrolling stuff was great because it was platform. I agree with three. you. Never ended up playing 3 actually, so I can only speak oh, to the first one. Three. I've heard 3... Three was like did it solve the problems? Take the take the tube aspect where you're going in a straight line, mm -hmm. either forward or backwards. If you say remove but, it, we're but, good. But uh, make it like so you're looking outside of the tube. Like a lot of the levels mm -hmm. were you like going in a straight line or in a path. Okay. But you weren't looking from behind him. You were looking at just the whole level. So he's maneuvering around it. It'll be interesting. Like, like a you're not even in the shot. I know. I, know. <laughs> I, don't, I, want, I want to make sure they get John. He's a good looking. Are you talking about like a two and a half D platform with like pandemonium <laughs> or something? You're gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> You're lower than me, anyways. So. Yeah. What's up? Are you talking like a, like a two and a half D platformer is essentially what it becomes? No, it's weird. It's you'd have to see it. I'll have to check it out. You okay, I'll give that a shot. I'll Three is my favorite. Okay. It's really I've heard good. that from a lot of people. Did you guys play it in Uncharted Four? It's one of the best. It's so. Oh, cool. is it in Uncharted Four? Yeah. In like in a, like there's like a, a story scene. sequence. Yeah, there's a it. scene where like he comes back with his wife and they're on the couch and he's like, hey. No. I don't know. What is it? They like, get they like some sort of like, oh. like discussion. He's like, you know what? I'll, I'll play your stupid game yeah. for it. And she's like, my stupid game. And so he's like, yeah, I'm going to play your TV game and I'm going to win. And if I get the high score, then you have to do exactly. whatever. And then he starts playing and he has no idea what he's doing. And you get like three lives to try to beat the first level and get the high score. Oh. And it loads up the PlayStation startup menu. Oh, it's, oh it's, my it's God. just it's so like, nostalgic and cool. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. It's actually really, really great. And I love that they call it stupid. Yeah. They made well, it. not really stupid. But well, they made it, it right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. But it's really fun and it's a great way to honor like where they started on like, you know, like their main course. But yeah. man, Very to cool. have the when that Sony PlayStation One logo pops the up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very you're powerful. just like, <laughs> what game do you I, think of when you see that logo? Twisted Metal Two. Oh, yes. that's yeah. a good choice. Yeah, that's a good one. Do you ever play the multiplayer with your friends? My, no. This is a I had two sisters, man, <laughs> and all my friends had sixty four. So mine is uh, like Bloody Roar. Mm. I think <clears> of. <throat> 
Um, Never played that. Masters of Terracasai. Oh, boy. Terracasai? Terrence Cosby. Well, I guess it could be that. I don't know. I guess I don't who know knows who pronounced it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I just put in just some I alien name. Yeah. I'm trying to think of. They, yeah, there are certain games. Oh, mm-hmm. Metal Gear. Oh, sure. Metal Gear for like, sure. Right when I think. Like, it's the first one I ever owned, I bought a used PlayStation One with Leg- not Legacy. Yeah, Legacy. Legacy of Kane, Blood Omen. Oh yeah. Yeah, and so I heard good. Fave Victus yeah. eight thousand times a day. Such a good game. It was a good game. Why did? They did they that? ever remake that? They, they didn't do a remake, this, but they, they made a, they did a Legacy a re- of Kane Soul Reaver 2 for PS2. I remember yeah. that one. Blood they did a Blood Omen 2. 2, Defiance. I think, I think that was it. And they're all like Defiance. 3D action games after that. After okay, Soul what's Reaver. I, I, this is so totally different topic. What, what games do they, what do they need to bring back? What are they making? Make a new one. I, I would say. I would say. If like they, they just made Shadow of the Beast. I don't have oh, a PS4. Well, they just, they just did Shadow of the yeah. Beast. Yeah. I don't have a PS4, but if they brought <clears throat> if they brought Legacy of Kane back and a Crash game, I would run out. Because they're redoing cl- Crash as it is uh-huh. on the PS4, but yeah, like we're master. going we're going to assume that like yeah. it's going to be the quality that the series should have. Who's so, making it though? Is it? Uh, dude, like Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank, so good. That's a good question. I don't know if they announced who was doing it. They do currently. Well, Naughty Dog made the original three. But I think Activision owns a license now. Racing, I believe, and yeah. then they, they it went to Activision. Yeah, and they made crap. What about you? Yeah. Um, what you want? Champions of Norath. Mm. Ooh, games. Those games are fun. God. Yeah. Whenever people talk about Fantasy Star Online, <coughs> I tell them they're full of shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> Champions, Champions, of Champions is way better. Champions than is very good. Star. It's really good. Way better. Hold your tongue, son. <laughs> Have you ever played it? What? Champions. I have it. I have it. I have it. I haven't played it. You gotta it's play it. Way better. It, it's really it's good. like it's like Fantasy Star except not with shitty controls. And it's got like complex classes with skill trees and items that you pick up that actually mean something. It's great. No, I actually I mean, the way you describe it <laughs> it's like you're just like Turn bashing Fantasy Star. And that's like yeah. Fantasy people still play that. You even cited it as what game you like. Do people s- you even cited it as a Sega game? Yeah, yeah. Like? yeah. I mean, you can't not like a dungeon crawler. Yeah, that's true. Like. That's very good. Like that's just fun. Well, Champions <laughs> of Darth does not have rag rappies. Yeah, the big like stupid bird things, like the chocobos of Fantasy Star. We'll survive. I'm trying to think. <laughs> of, I'm trying to think of the game. It's a four player game. It's out on Xbox. Day. Oh, uh, Hunter the Reckoning. Oh, oh yeah, those yeah. great games. I would love to see oh. that brought back. That would be your That's choice. a GameCube game right I there. Play an Xbox for the four because you have the four players. Yeah, man. they had Monster Power Madness, which was kind of similar. That came out for the 360, and it was a kind of a similar like just zombies ate my neighbors, you know, style killed. <laughs> Thank monsters. you. Have you ever played Zombies Revenge on the Dreamcast? It's kind of like Hunter. But uh, it's it's I think it was so. I think it was an arcade port, was but. <clears throat> are you are you saying bring back any game from any console or just yeah like, like so, to, to wait, remake oh like, to like, like a new game? Type um, it could be a new game I think oh, it's a new a, game of this I've always oh. said I want I want more beat em ups I want Streets of Rage back yeah Streets yeah. of Rage back nice beat em ups would be a good one like like Streets of Rage is 30 up. years old as of I'm gonna throw oh, an God. unexpected was it a couple curve. days ago I'll throw a weird one okay NFL Blitz Blitz yeah, good. I miss, dude. I miss arcade sports games. Arcade sports man. games were the best. Yeah. You make that shit online. Yeah, that's fair. I don't want to get that. That's, is, that, is that midway? And yeah. NHL hits. They did those too. Those I like NBA good. Jam. NBA Street. Just make a cool sports game. They have a new NBA just, Jam. I did. I remember that. It's actually it was really good. Ago, yeah. It's a really good game. If I'm going to choose my series to continue, the legacy would be F Zero because GX is still like my favorite. Did you see that one on the Wii U? The fast racing Neo. Yeah, it's terrific. So good, it's so I fast. I feel like that's, that's what you're gonna get. It's basically, <laughs> uh, I bet probably, but yeah, it's basically like Wipeout plus F Zero, and it's fantastic. But I want like a proper F Zero, even if they just put GX high res online. That's like How my favorite, GX? favorite, favorite F Zero, really? favorite game on the GameCube. Oh, you know what? They should remake yeah. Star Fox. Shut it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, taking a new Star Fox game. I I can't, that doesn't break my wrist. I loved yeah. Zero, though. I know people hated it, but I loved that game. You I, played, I played through it so many times. I don't understand. You're one of two people Why I would... know that said they loved that game. Yeah, I loved it. Why? Well, you can play through it so many I times because you beat it in two hours. No, I huh? hate it. Yeah, yeah, I thought the control was great. Why would you need to do a reboot to the game with, like, almost, what, one sequel? Well, it's been remade, like, because it's... That's Zero is essentially the third remake of the game. Yeah. That's what I'm <laughs> You only have, like... You only have, like, what? Uh, six games in your series. Three of them are remakes. That's true. I've never even beat the original Star Fox. It's hard. Is it hard? It's, 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 is that why I haven't Because, I mean, it. it's just frame rates are low, and, you know, it's, like, a little bit clunky, but it's yeah, still... It's I know when people were, were just, like, raving about Star Fox, mm-hmm. I'd look at the graphics and be like... 
the heck? It's like yeah, the Genesis can't do this. So <laughs> I didn't. I never. Yeah, I'm, I never like, felt like. like uh, I mean, it was very. Cool. I like never circus. felt like. Oh man, too bad we don't have this on the Genesis. You had virtual racing on the Genesis, which arguably looks better. Right. Yeah. Sega's got blast core processing. That's fair. Kind of worthless. It does have blast core processing. And SNES has Mode Seven, which is a real thing, which and is very great. worthwhile. <laughs> <Yeah>, Generally, <laughs> just throw it out there. I think, but very few games used it good. Mode Seven. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Castlevania used it Castlevania great. used it fantastically. I mean, Mario Kart, F-Zero, Mario World even used it to agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, Yoshi's oh, Island. No, I'm just, there's a handful of those really good ones, that's but there true. were people that used it for... Pilot and it looked wings. horrible. Yeah, that's true. Some like, people it looked tagged horrible. There. Mike yeah. Cook made a good choice. He said Maniac Mansion. That, oh, yeah. Oh, we talked about this on the way That's true. That was Pull yeah. the Purple Tentacle again. Yeah. yeah. That was not Maniac Mansion. Well, Day of the Tentacle got... It was the oh. reboot. It, well, the remaster. just yeah. happened like in March. Yeah, that's what made me decide. I never played that. Ooh, it's good. I, I downloaded <laughs> that Grim Fandango though, and I used to play that a lot that's as a kid. Game. I want to go through it again, and I don't think I don't even think I beat it as a kid. Those puzzles are so abstract. Yeah, <laughs> it's so that, tough. I think I got to a spot, time. and I was like, I don't know what to do. I've clicked on every freaking mm-hmm. bone there is. The this is back when computers didn't even exist, right, Joel? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the black and white TV I had just it. come into production. I'm old. <laughs> I understand, man. I'm like the old man here. He was, he was reading the book. Uh, 30... I want to say 38, 39. How old are you? 31. Okay. Yeah, I'm way older than I turned 35 man. next week, so... Yeah, we're the old men here, mm-hmm. but, like, mm-hmm. I'm really old. <laughs> oh, wow. This has been a while since I've been the youngest. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Are you younger than me? Yeah. 27. Mm-hmm. Are you 27? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Theo, there's the youngest, youngest. Uh, but look at me. I'm 38 years old, and I'm hanging out with 27-year-olds. Oh. <laughs> Young at heart, yeah. exactly. And I'm on the per- I'm the person with the least amount of sleep here, probably. Yeah. No. You think oh. you got? <laughs> I've only had two hours. You got less. That's sleep. about what I got. Oh, really? less sleep than me? Oh, yeah. Huh? You have less sleep than me? I think so. You think so? I think so. What? How you didn't sleep? get a lot of sleep last night? Not at all. Serious? Is it the, the couches? And no, it was because I drank that big old thing of iced tea, <laughs> and I never drink. I never drink caffeine, so I'm just like. <laughs> and everyone else is sleeping. I'm like, <laughs> I almost turned on your PS4. I was like, might as well game. You should have, man. But I was like, I don't know. I, I don't know your gear, you know. And I, I couldn't even figure out how to turn That's off the damn tricky, light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so last night, last night, we, I, I walk in after we. I went to sleep at like one o'clock, in, in the morning. And keep in mind, I had to get up at five because I'm working at six a.m. right now. And uh, so I go to bed. I, I go in there, and we just kind of sit there. And I take out my pants. Little rule is hey, 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 when I when hey. I uh, when, when the guests pants, come over, when you the pants come off. Yeah. When the pants come off, I'm not leaving my room. So sure. I close the door and I'm kind of there, and I hear them whispering like little little rats on Christmas. Trying to be, yeah. trying to be <laughs> quiet, like yeah. Right, let's turn off. Like, what are we gonna do here? And I'm like, what's going on? And they're like, uh, all right, try, try it, just try it. And then I hear, <laughs> and they turn on the garbage disposal. <laughs> I think they're looking for a light. Is that I was trying to turn correct? off the lights, and I turned on the guard. Trying to find the yeah. light, and, and it uh, sounded like there was a fork in there. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, so oh my loud. god! I'm being my girlfriend. Pretty loud like, for five what seconds. The hell are they doing? And I, I, I could not find the light switch <laughs> there. Yeah, because he kept flipping off that one. Then I went around the corner and I found the what? other ones. Yeah. Could you not pull the string? No. Nope. It turns off. It's, the it's not wow. normal. It's, Crazy. Broken. Yeah. This is Arizona, man. Right, yeah. This this is is Arizona. 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 You can't, yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's a expensive thing because uh, I definitely have strength to my lights. <laughs> <laughs> What about in the chat? What do they want to see remade or bring back a game they'd love to see? Mike Cook said he would like a Blitz. Yeah. A Blitz? Yeah. NBA Street. What about a Fax Anadu? Like, imagine. I'm almost thinking stuff like from Rare, like Blast Core. I want to do Blast Core. Oh my god, hey, Rare. What's that, what's that Dreamcast game with the Rare robots? Rare a sticking point for me. They're interesting. It's, it's a very... Oh, man, I'm gonna, this the, is going to kill the me transition now. I hate when this happens awful to and me. Which I think? Upsetting. I don't even think it came out in America. Which one? It's a Dreamcast game. It's got robots. Thank you, Olga. Yeah, Michelob Ultra. The smart man's drink. Uh, who's watching? Uh, Olga. Don't give him Sam Adams. He turns oh. into a little girl. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. I'll drink anything. Is that Olga what? What's it say? Olga Baca. Is that what her screen name is? I think that's my mom. Really? Is that you, mama? <laughs> <laughs> you need to go to bed, girl. <laughs> is that like German, Spanish, or Russian, she, Spanish or something? That's not Olga. Olga Baca. Olga. Olga. Olga Baca. Yeah, my mom's Mexican. But. When I think Olga, I only think like the comrades. 
I know, right? It's like yeah. a Russian. Hair, yeah. Right? Yeah, no, she's not Russian. Though. She's oh, Mexican. Yeah. So I have to tell me if that's her or not. Okay. Sweet. But, I mean, but, but she's talking about Michelob and her name's Olga. It sounds like my mom. <laughs> oh, she likes Michelob? She says, yes, oh, it I, is. I'm in Arizona, Mom. <laughs> that's so cool. <clears throat> Pretty good. I don't think my mom's ever coming to a stream. You guys are special. We got something good going here. Oh, but she loves you. Does she? She probably seen John's and I'll finally watch oh, one of okay. my son's episodes. Did you, did oh, she, she just loves you. Really? Big time. That's so sweet. Oh, yeah. I man. love her too. When she comes, she's like, let's go see John. Oh. Yeah, your mom was really, really nice. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. But yeah, Rare is, that is an interesting company. Yeah. Well, because I mean, Rare is a skeleton currently. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody left to do everything else like Playtonic, which is actually very exciting. It's like they, they released <laughs> that Rare replay. Yeah. And I have so many mixed feelings about that game. Do you? What Absolutely. Do you I love it. How do you it? have mixed feelings about it? I love uh, it. Because, I don't know, everyone's like going crazy about it. They're like, I love Rare. Mm -hmm. Like, they're so great. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. Uh, Some. A lot, a lot of the games on here are great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but that's not really Rare. Like, well, current, current Rare. Of course not current Rare. It's well, a, it's a it's it's compilation. Compilation. People, people will always yeah. say, like, they'll, they'll get it, and they're like, <clears> well, it'd be great if they remade this. Mm -hmm. Like, oh man, this game's so good, they should remake it. Like, they should remake it. You're not gonna get perfect it. Perfect Dark. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, like Perfect like, Dark, they did remake it. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. That's called Time Splitters. That's also true. Time Splitters is arguably one of the best first person shooters of all time. And that was, that was the yeah. team. Yeah. Like, they did the, if you wanted them to continue those series, yeah. it's not gonna happen. Yeah. They did remake, they made Perfect Dark Zero, and it was a shamble of a game. Yeah, that's what I was saying. But they also remade that's actual remake. Perfect Dark. Right. Like, and they redid the textures and the oh, faces yeah. and the oh, like, That was kind of yeah. cool, you know? But frame yeah. rate and better. Why yeah, you, those those people that made that, and then they made like classic games like Donkey Kong Country. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna get it, mm -hmm. <laughs> like obviously. Sure. These these games you're not gonna but get. But Rare it. has brought us, oh, man, I mean, so many. Stuff. Amazing I even like their memories. ZX Spectrum stuff. I think is really cool. Just because I appreciate a lot of what it is, and a lot of it took me um, playing these games that I'd never played before because we never had the Spectrum here, and so having to play like Saber Wolf. Or, you know, like, um, Lunar Jetman and things like that. I hated them at first because I didn't understand the, the way the games played. And as I played them more and more and more, I thought, this is actually really incredible for its time. Saber I'm Wolf, super what, impressed. Rare? Saber Wolf. That's rare? Yeah. It was an old Spectrum game, and then they put him in Killer Instinct, and then they That's sort of so remade weird. it I'm for the game I'm it all together now. My mind's being blown at the moment. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, my lord. Yeah. I just, ki just Killer Instinct alone. Mm-hmm. Like, they brought me that. That game was... And the joy and the years of just... I, I still play... I played Killer Instinct yeah. Arcade Machine yeah. two Sundays ago for eight hours straight. It's still so good. Really? Because yeah. it's just so good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's, I feel like it's so jank, but maybe I'm just... Original KI it. from yeah, the original is great. The original KI is Gold always and, where it's and at. 3 is still kind of like... Yeah. I'm not as into it's them, not, but I love the original. It's not as good, man. The first one is where it was at, you know? Sure. It's so good. But I think what I liked about Rare, and it makes me just sort of think of them as like a legacy company where I think, well, they've never done like a 3D platformer. And then Banjo-Kazooie comes out and you're like, oh, this might be better than Mario 64. Oh, we've it's never not. made a fighting game. Oh, this is a phenomenal fighting game. They've never done this before. Well, let's try our hand at first-person shooter. Oh, they make arguably the best one of the generation. And it impressed me so much as a company who just was just trying things and they kept succeeding on levels that were so monumental that I respect them as a legacy company. Right now, of course, you know, whatever they're doing is... I don't know. I mean, oh, they're making that like pirate game for the Xbox One. <laughs> yeah. And it actually yeah. looks kind of cool. It looks kind of cool, but like release it, man. Like, it yeah. doesn't seem like it's that uh, technically. Oh, yeah, that's where they start. They show that at the E3 conference. Mm -hmm. And it looks pretty cool. I, that's you know, where I don't know if I'm to lose me. But a lot of investment like, in it, yeah, but uh, it does I'll not play look it. good at all. But that, that, that's a good game where if you have like 10 buddies that you can always get together with. Like, I think it would be really cool. It's a good commitment. It felt so fake. All the dialogue, all the conversation. Because that's the one they were all playing. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's so cringy when you it get was pretty, people yeah. together. Like, this oh. is how the online yeah. experience will be. And they're like, make sure to raise the mast. Yeah. 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 Yo, Yo, friend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, I'm in the alcove. Yeah, like every bit of it felt really uncomfortable. And then Xbox, and then PlayStation comes out and just oh yeah, murders yeah, everyone. Was such like live orchestra and yeah. God of War and like holy. Let's, yeah. let's talk about that. What happened with the Xbox One that 
I mean, you said 360 was arguably. Hmm. Oh, they won. Uh, I love they that. They won that generation. We can Phenomenal all. Phenomenal yeah, machine. Sony fan, Xbox fan. You can, I think everyone, every console does this when they're on top. I felt like PlayStation yeah. did it. Where they, where they like, yeah. we can do no wrong. That. You get complacent. Tell. Everybody yeah. does it. Yeah. Uh, we can do no companies. wrong. We're going to, we charge this much yeah. and they'll buy it. Hey, the PS2 is winning? Cool. Check out this PS3 yeah. that you have to like, you know, you need five ninety nine dollars to <laughs> buy it. I'm yeah. Like, same mistakes. It's just the mm-hmm. same thing. They wanted to talk about TV. Mm-hmm. They wanted to talk about that horrible what D, was it DM, DMN DM, DMR. DMR. Yeah, it was D- DMR. DRM. Yeah, DRM. Yeah, DRM. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. 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 Yep. That was a mess. And then like people, what, what sucks people, is that they're right to do it. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, yeah. No, they're not the wrong to do it. Unfortunately, it's correct, but it affects us because we're so used to that not being the case. Yeah. It's <laughs> not time. It's not. It's, time it's not yet. time yet. It's like yeah. the dream, it's like the Dreamcast. Yeah. And, I, that's where we're all going. I get it. Yes, but it's not time yet. And as soon as they even said the DRM thing. Mm-hmm. They did so much like, oh, wait, wait, backtracking yeah, the entire yeah. time that people like after months and months, maybe mm-hmm. sometimes, maybe even years, you're like, oh, is that the, that console with the DRM thing? Yeah. Like, it didn't instill a lot of confidence in the consumer base. Yeah. Like people sort of like didn't know what it really was going right. to do. So they're just like, well, PlayStation, I guess. Can, they, can they come back at this yeah. point? Xbox? Yeah. No. I think they're fine. I mean, because we're got, talking two to one in sales. Because they're refocusing but, themselves but as the a thing PC, about that. you know, like a cross-platform company they're, now. They're, they're still yeah. selling systems. They're selling yeah, still... Re- still sell well. still they're still selling. They're the budget console right now. I feel yeah, like the new console... Help, I've more. seen a ton the of... Holidays, I've yeah. seen a ton of unboxings. People are buying this mm-hmm. new console. Oh, the S... I don't, yeah, that's yeah, going to sell great the They're selling better than the 360 still. So they're doing fine. It's just... When you compare the numbers, so that's I'm just glad better. that they got a yeah. system they can keep up the PS4 now. Yeah. And they don't have to dump down our game so we can put it on both consoles. Yeah. I'm a little concerned of their future, though, because their E3 was strange. They kept saying, what is it, not non generational or whatever? Yeah. They like, want it to be a constantly evolving, just yeah. PC growth. It, may, it, makes me, it? it makes me question where they're going. Are they going to, is Microsoft going to push more of Windows and go more towards software, which I hope they don't do? Because. Mm-hmm. I mean, as a consumer, you don't want two choices. Right. You know, What's up, it's, it's, it's bad for the gamer and the, and the consumer at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, look at the sixth gen. We had four consoles at one point. It was yeah. the best generation, you know, there was because you had choice. A lot of exciting you know. choices. So, how many? We got some people in the chat. Don't forget to check out some of these channels. <clears throat> of course, Media Glitch. If you're watching, you're probably already subscribed. But go check out the Itch Network. Go check out. Sacula. Sacula. And right. uh, one more time, I forget. It's so long, right? G- Gaming he, through the decades. You see, he even had to think. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> so. Anyway, just to continue. Go ahead. Sorry. I just wanted... uh, Mike Cook wants to know what is your guys' favorite PS4 game from E3? Oh, God, that's tough. Because, like, PS4. I'm still going to say Last Guardian because I've been anticipating <laughs> oh it for like God. a third of my life. So, you know, that's yeah. exciting. You know, I, here's the thing. Last year, was it last year? I. I released the top 10 every year. Mm-hmm. And on that top 10 was PT. Mm. And people got mad. You can't you can't put a demo as your number one. Uh-huh. I said, this is my show. I can do whatever the heck I want. Yeah, you can do whatever I PT was the greatest experience I had last... It was phenomenal. Whatever year that Two was. Ago, so yeah. when... Uh, dude, when he comes out and you know he's with Sony Yeah, now, Kojima? Oh, yeah. And he's... <laughs> Puts that video. I don't even know what game that is. Yeah, Death Stranding. Uh, Death Stranding. Yeah. But it's just me. my <laughs> whole. Yeah, exactly. Dude, my whole like I'm not kidding you. I got goosebumps everywhere, yeah. and I was just like, I don't know what this is, but have my money. It's like giving like a college art student like a budget of a billion dollars and saying make something in five minutes, and he's like, he goes grand. Well, the thing is, I love man, it. So we talked about so how pumped. awesome Metal Gear. And you guys are big Metal Gear Three. Big Metal Gear fans. Big Metal Gear. But 3 either fans. way, it's. That guy is a genius, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just like, whatever that is, it's going to be amazing, and I'm ready. The guy's got vision. Yeah. And that's what I'm most excited for. It does. Uh, I'll say that that other zombie game. Oh, gosh, that was great, huh? I don't know. What is oh, that yeah, I can't remember games. the name of it, because, like, to me, the, all the names sort of blur in together, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just a zombie game, another one, but it actually looks... Or even God of War. I'm excited for God of War. I'm more oh, interested right. in this more God of War than the previous God of War. That's fair. Well, the previous, I love the, I love the Tomb Raider style. That last one was horrible. <clears throat> I love the Tomb Raider garbage. style, so if you can make that into God of War, then I'm all for it. I like the idea that just that the, like, the mythology, you're going through different mythology to destroy something is more fun. You know, I want him to go through you know, Mayan or Incan mythology. I'd love mm-hmm. him to go through, you know, 
like Christian this, Mustafa. Wow, yeah, exactly. Is that, is that what you felt was going? Yeah. Is that what's going on in that? In this one, you're, you're actually you're and you're fighting through Valhalla. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? What's uh, so that's a, a n- Norse mythology. Norse mythology. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like with with, uh, with Thor and. So are they going to change that? No. Change it around. Uh, like, well, I mean, like uh, subsequent no games, Greek. they might eventually. Yeah, it's no longer Greek. You, you kill all the gods. Everything's done. So they now he has, yeah, he's got more gods to go through, and so why not go take down Thor and Loki? And, I was always amazed and that every so every, much lore in Norse mythology. And that's gonna be very cool. I it's think. like endless. It looks beautiful. It right? does. It looks beautiful. Uh, Olga Baca asks for old timers like us, or like you know Joel, which system would be the easiest <laughs> for us to play on? Like the, the Joel, easiest... we just tried to play Overwatch with Joel. It didn't work out too well. Is that like the easiest mainstream system you can like, go buy right now? No. Or is I it in general? Think so. I think... Yeah, it's like what she's saying. Because, like, you know, I mean, suggest the Wii to nearly everybody who wants to sort of segue into gaming, period, because it's so, so accessible. The Wii? The Wii. Yeah. It's so accessible. That's yeah, the but it's so like, well. you can get so confused, like, is this for the Wii or for the Wii U? Oh, no, sure. Wii, but you know? I mean, you know... Like, I think that's confusing. Yeah. I yeah, think... but everybody can play Mario, I think. Right. We're just talking about like what's the system like you could hand to somebody and say there's tons of games it's easy to play you don't have to have a lot of experience to get into it you know the Wii in general is just the best place to start for something you can buy for super cheap. You know what? I was saying Nintendo 3DS. And 3DS is good too. 3DS is extremely accessible. They're made with those in mind. They're made with like the core. Yeah, I, uh, I would probably go with. And it's not a console, but it's a the 3DS. I yeah. think I think I would agree with that. 3DS too. is very good. That you can shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time out I see where you're going. Yeah. I didn't oh, yeah. know what you were saying. I'm like, what? My legs fell asleep. <laughs> yes. But he's right. Oh, and that's that was one <laughs> of the, the reasons why my the 3ds. I'd be like, how long have I been on this toilet? Oh, dude, that's dangerous, right? <laughs> you yeah, know, and like, are for and your, yeah, like, yeah. your legs are all tingly. I'm like, yeah, all, right, all the man. time. Ball of bull, you're gonna have to wait. Yep. <laughs> like I got, I, yep. I gotta get off. Oh, yeah. You know. But the but thing like about the girlfriend will be like, what are you doing in there? Like, um. Jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> that, that makes more sense. Yeah. Where the like the 3DS is cool because you can, you have a, a huge library accessible to you huge. of Plethora older games, of older Super games Nintendo, that Super might Nintendo, only Game Boy, require two buttons. Yeah. And tons of downloadable just other nonsense. There's mm-hmm. so much stuff to play mm-hmm. on the system. It's it, weird to say that the 3DS is like a haven for RPGs right now. Oh, it is. It's so yeah. Cool. Like, yeah. If you want JRPGs, yeah. like new JRPGs, like if you want old JRPGs, go with the Vita. Yeah. If you want new JRPGs, then go with the 3DS. Yeah. There's tons. There's a ton the, of JRPGs the for the Vita. Beautiful. Though. There are. I mean, yeah, but but yeah. the majority of them like are in that PlayStation Store mm-hmm. for like the the PlayStation One games. I mean, they they do a couple, but they're so slow with the releases. But the um. The Vita. Oh man, what are those those Bravely defaults? Yeah. Oh yeah. Man, yeah. those are so good. <laughs> And I love that you can uh, just skip the, f- not skip the fights, but put like, it, you can put turn it fast forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Cook asked, do you think a PS Vita is worth owning overall? Yeah, 100%. Hold on, especially right now, because they just cracked the firmware to like put emulators and stuff you back in there. You can put Homebrew in it. Do they? And it's yeah. not even running oh, through the oh, PSP yeah. emulation, it's running through actual Vita emulation, so it's significantly better. It looks better. good and it runs you're not Wait, how do you do it? it? Oh, do I just Google it? Yeah, yeah. basically. It's, it's like It just is came it out. Um, it's very easy. Yeah. And it, I mean, it's still very early too, so I'm not expecting like it to like work super well. But like they just figured it out like a week two ago, yeah. and it's it's on the way to being like just don't update your firmware. And yeah, it's it's oh, things have opened up. It's not like there's many updates coming out anymore. Probably, yeah, so probably yeah. not. Yeah, so many things sort of forgot about that. They but turned off the light I, building. I am a I love the Vita. It's a powerful, beautiful. Machine. I love it. That screen is gorgeous. Dude. Everyone I know has a Vita absolutely loves the thing. I yeah. don't have The problem with my Vita is every game I own for it, I've already owned on a different system. Like, like Ninja Gaiden Sigma or Metal yeah. Gear or, you know, everything I've bought before, which I don't mind because I own it for that purpose. Mm-hmm. But I think literally every game I own is something I've already bought in a previous generation. What I like about it, too, is that... Uh Games that require a little bit of grinding, like there was a Dragon's Crown or mm-hmm. stuff like that, mm-hmm. it's right on the Vita, and they you cross. Can shit. The yeah, you can you can shit and grind, and then you can transfer it to your PS3 yeah. or and then you shit keep, and grind keep going. Does not sound like a video game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like it sounds like a video yeah, game. Yeah, New Age Yoga. <laughs> yeah, and I also like because um, I got four kids, so they always break a controller, and the other day. Four of us needed to play. Mm-hmm. We only had three controllers, and I just used my 
Oh, Vita, Vita perfect. as a controller. It works, yeah. Not only that, I sat on the couch and didn't even have to look at the TV because I had... Your screen right there. You could put the screen on there, too. Mm-hmm. And play your PS4 or right like that. There's some so, great application to it, and especially now that the price is lowering and like a lot of games are sort of. Has the, the price dropped now? I mean, it's like hundred and forty dollars. So some it's of like, those. I think Sony's cheap. ridiculous with that. They they still have everything super expensive on that Vita. Yeah. Like it's in high demand. And that yeah, right, yeah. There, yeah. there are the downsides memory, like the memory. Oh, the stick. memory. The memory stick is so expensive. It's like you're not gonna you're not gonna budge. <laughs> like They're come not. on, man. Like, yeah, because where else are you gonna get a memory? Nobody's shirt, buying yeah. this yeah. console. Like you could budge on the memory. But I think you're too. The only place they make their money now. Is off of memory card. You'll, for the you'll, I mean, you're they're to yes. the point where Japan will probably start making those um, kind of like memory cards that will work. Oh, like an off brand one. You know what I mean? Mm. Oh yeah. Because I think they did that for the PSP, right? Probably. Stuff I don't know. Like that. I see a lot of 32 meg memory cards going for that system. I'm just like, this literally does nothing. Yeah. This is the it most is. worthless memory card. John, what do you think for a console that you would give somebody that doesn't really play games? I'd pr- I'd probably say we. Yeah. The Wii U? I mean, unless you want to go... Well, no, I wouldn't give them the Wii U. I'd say really? Wii, give them yeah. the Wii. I mean, unless you want to go older, something easy. Like but new. They want new console. Yeah. If, if, and, well, and I don't think the Wii... Even accessible, you have the virtual the console Wii's store. Not. People are get satisfied. You can literally Wii. play Wii games on your Wii U. So. Yeah, the virtual yeah. console is still up on the Wii, too. Mm-hmm. So, I, mean, I just think simply for cost on is the big thing. So, yeah, I would go cost, Wii. simplicity, a ton of awesome games. Oh, man. Yeah, because for 50 yeah. bucks you can get... Yeah, get the full as system. much as I want to say some, you know, like maybe I don't know. It's just accessible. That's the reason the the, yeah. the model worked for Nintendo. The reason their their user base was so huge is because anybody could play it. Grandpas and grandmas and you know kids who didn't know anything about video games, they could just pick it up and wave it around. Right. There's, there's nothing funnier than watching your grandparents try to play um, <clears throat> the what's the virtual sports and actually try Wii to play sports. tennis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Wii sports. Wii sports. Thank Wii sports. You. Well, it's kind of funny because Nintendo is trying to recapture that market again. Mm-hmm. So I, I I'll Wii tell you what NX. I'm not a fan of the Wii. Mm-hmm. I I like some games on the Wii U for sure, like mm-hmm. Bayonetta two and mm-hmm. Mario Kart. But I I, I I'm super super excited about this NX, and I really think From what we that know, yeah. I think this will be Nintendo's. Well, because Nintendo just always pulls this trump card out of nowhere. That's yeah, after kind of their signature. Everyone and and I feel like it's about time. Well, Kamishima is just such a different lead for the the company uh-huh. that I think this is exactly what they need right now. I got some I got some NX rumors. I don't know if you guys heard about this. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this is like within the last a couple, couple days. hours. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, couple couple hours. Hours. Okay, let's see. So I, saw some I don't know where it came from. So so take it take it for what it was. Okay. But I got this from a friend. And it said, rumor of Nintendo's NX real name, their partnership with tech company Xilinx, hmm. X-I-L-L-I-N-X, that they will plan to be partners with for many years to come with projects for hardware, VR, and AR tech. Xilinx tech covers hybrid-like tech that supports cross-platform integration from handhelds to mobile to computers to home console devices, and they are involved with VR and AR tech. Hmm. Uh, and then and run their products off of AMD. So that whole what was it? It was an Nvidia, Nvidia the Nvidia thing was a rumor. I guess there was a. That's what's fun about rumors is when another rumor comes along. Uh, AAA dev yeah. who wanted to remain unnamed came out and said the hybrid Nvidia rumors were were untrue, huh. saying NX dev kits have VR AR tech in it and you need a minimum of one teraflop to have enough power. So essentially, this thing that's is exciting. Supposedly, <laughs> if take this for what it is, but yeah. if that's the case, it's more powerful that, or just as powerful, if not more, than the PS4, which was the original rumor. Sure. And then it looks but like they're going to really... Right? Well, I mean, once like the PS4 Neo or whatever comes out, like, well, yeah, that'll of be course. a step up. But even so... Well, that even... Xbox One, the, the Scorpio had six teraflops. I don't even know what a teraflop is. <laughs> I, don't <remember. laughs> I don't care about these specs anymore because to me, yeah. like, they almost don't mean anything. You know, back in the day when you were like 16-bit, 8-bit, this is clearly better than yeah. 16. And now it's kind of like... It was, it was, it was you know, black and white. Yeah. Now it's like yeah. teraflops, yeah. this, and... I don't even know. Is your game fun? Do you have good games? But, yeah. but the way, <laughs> but the way I, I see this is everyone always says, why is Sony and Microsoft pushing the 4K VR now when they could have waited till next generation, which is what I thought they should have done. I why, thought, yeah. why not just wait? Give us two or three more years yeah. left of this console. We'll take it for what it was, not the best console generation. Sure. And then we'll move on. Yeah. So, but I mean, if this rumor holds up and that they are pursuing VR and AR, this kind of maybe Sony, Microsoft got some got some news on that and I, that's why they're I feel like Microsoft well. had to push that 
because they they wanted to be like they wanted to bring back the people like this was their trump card like mm-hmm. okay we got we got to push 4K out first and then Sony heard and and wanted to compete with that as well. Oh, dude, I'd stream for three hours sometimes. I don't care. <laughs> All right, yeah, we can go in. But I, I, I completely agree. It's it's uh, what's and interestingly, and the watching. reason I heard that it's Nintendo crazy, dude, uh, held their cards so close to their chest during E3 is because they didn't want Sony or Microsoft to know what was going on, to know what was happening, and to be like, hey guys, last minute Nintendo's doing this. And by this time, Microsoft and Sony are so invested in their current projects and what they they've already said. You know, yeah. you know what though? You say that. Well, I feel like Nintendo. For the longest time, have been in their own little world. They are. Their they own, are. Their own oh, little exactly. fight. Exactly. Because it's always, it's <clears> for the last, <throat> mm-hmm. well, obviously, company. Yeah, right. It's always been Sony versus yeah. Microsoft. Mm-hmm. And Nintendo's just doing you know. But what I mean by that is that Nintendo released the Wii. So Sony's like, well, we need a controller too. And Microsoft's, but right. like, we like motion too, guys. You know, they still right. always instigate something that people go, Oh, if Nintendo's doing it, there's still merit in it somewhere, you know, right. because it's clearly catching on to some degree, <laughs> and so I like how Microsoft's <clears throat> answers connect. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Though you know, it's a, it's a fair try. It just was also supported like as well as a bag of rocks. It's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> Retro Remix Nation says Nintendo still needs to stay at a lower price point, or they won't be able to compete. I agree. I agree as well. I think I the Wii, the Wii U have a better price point than yeah. it did, and that really hurt it. The naming hurt it. The advertising hurt it. I think it. the name. The hurt message it just was not clear because nobody knew. People still come into my store and they see a Wii U and like, can I buy that tablet for my Wii? And it's like, no. Yeah. This is a separate thing. It's well, like, n- yeah. Nintendo came and they, I'm pretty sure Nintendo <clears throat> came out and said they were going to sell this thing at a profit. They weren't going to take a loss on it. NX, whatever you want to call it. So that would be means, interesting. To me, that means one of two things. It's either going to be really cheap for them to make and it's mm-hmm. going to be reasonably priced. Yeah. Or it's not going to be cheap and it's going to be really expensive. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't mind it's it being expensive. Expensive. As long as, I mean, if they're launching with Zelda and they have like a strong lineup of yeah. promised titles, then that's the big thing. You can yeah. get away with that as Nintendo, but you have to make sure you're fulfilling that promise and displaying it to people so there's no confusion. I and want as that. As beautiful as Zelda is, is there any other games? Well, that's not that they're announced. Plus 11? The, uh, okay, fair enough. I only actually. need Zelda. <laughs> yeah, if I launch with the NX with like, Breath of the Wild, I'm I'll pay whatever time. it is <laughs> if I know that this system is... But I think in September they're going to have some really big announcements regarding the actual launch of the system from Nintendo and third party. And hopefully some really great surprises. But September's the rumored Nintendo Direct for this. I'm like, this is the first time in a long time that Nintendo's like put some butterflies in my stomach. Where I'm like, me too. This might be. I haven't felt this in a while. Yeah, that Breath of Fire thing at E3 was dude. And I'm and, and that's aside from dude. Zelda. I mean, you put Zelda in there, it even gets worse. Yeah, right. You know like, what I mean? But like, the just the fact that like <laughs> they've been so hush hush, and at least they realize like, okay, we're we're done with the Wii U. We, we messed up. Like, yeah. I, I feel like they know. It's probably good to acknowledge up. it and just be like, you know, sorry guys. Yeah, you and know? they stop supporting. Instead of milking something that's dead, yeah. you know. So how does this, the, the Zelda, is Zelda still going to come out for the Wii U? Mm-hmm. They're launching it for both. Okay. It's like the Twilight. It's, it's almost, yeah, it's, it seems like it's like exactly history repeating repeat itself. Yeah, I think so. Which means if it is, the NX is going to kill. It's going to be awesome. I'm hoping so. Because the Wii. I'm hoping so. Because the Go, GameCube was... Really wasn't a, a success. Yeah, now it's a failure. Yeah, yeah we and then but then mm-hmm. they come back with a Wii and crush everybody, everything. Yeah, and if history repeats itself like it is, even to the game, <clears throat> this NX is going to be awesome. Well, that puts the N sixty four to a weird spot because mm-hmm. clearly the Super Nintendo did well, mm-hmm. right? And uh, N sixty four kind of falls out of that pattern. But I always thought that was an interesting console. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think people forget. About that console, they look back at the controller and think about how much they hate it. Mm-hmm. I loved it always. I would. But love it people forget how many legendary games came out on the Dude, 64. One of the biggest, uh, most interesting sales patterns they notice at the shop all the time is like if you grew up in like the early 80s, you grew up with a Nintendo. If you grew up in like the you know sort of the early 90s, it was the Super Nintendo. But then it's like the, the 64 has like a little bit more overlap and it trickled in. And even the generation after that, people remember the 64. And the generation after that, people remember the 64. So the spread of people who actually grew up with the 64 as like their main influence on like early games, Mario Kart and Goldeneye and all that stuff, is a much bigger spread across my entire consumer base that I've seen. And I've asked people, what, how old are you? What's your age? And 64 is just, it's like three generations worth of people played that as like their main system. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's and there's crazy. game changers oh, absolutely. on that, you know. So right, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> the game so game changers that <laughs> shaped uh, video games today. Goldeneye, 
Yep. I don't think first person shooters would be as popular. Wouldn't be what they are today if it wasn't for Golden Knight. For sure. Um, yeah, people say that all the time. Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they go, they go. Oh, the first Smash Brothers, man. N64 is like the worst console ever. And then I'm, I'm like thinking about the games like Mario 64, Mario Kart, it Smash Bros. Exactly. Ocarina, Every one of those franchises. Smash, yeah. GoldenEye. Yeah. Uh, Wave Racer. It was vital, man. That system say was what, time. Say what you Thank will. You that, Nintendo dude. has always... Mario it, Tennis. Is, they're the ones that br- like that bring us into the new thing. They always have. They do. They've they always do. brought they us into the new thing. They have that charm that's und- undeniably necessary. Oh, and then today, we held, oh, we God. touched, we <sighs> felt <sighs> the Nintendo PlayStation. They, yeah, they have that Oh, there. they do have that there. The owners of that yeah. system have it there, and you can check it out. It just, it's unbelievable. I don't think they let, I, I don't think they let everyone touch it, but That's they true. let us hold it. The most crucial turning point in video game history. Yeah. Unbelievable to see that that thing right there was the catalyst. Oh, dude, to see that today, yeah. it was just like... Yeah. And it's real. Yeah. Like, you heard about it as kids, you know, but the, right. supposedly they had destroyed Pictures everyone. Pictures of EGM And then there's this one. Yeah. Well, they, that'll be there tomorrow, too. Yeah. Right? yeah. Those guys yeah. are there. They're they're there they're going to have it set up as well, too. Yeah. We did an interview with the guy, and he told us how he wanted an auction and stuff. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Man, he let us like take pictures. I, got, I mean, I can show you guys. Yeah, we did like a video, picture. like like of the entire like system. See the ventilation yeah. port. See the, the connections on the back. Yeah. And then to see a controller that says Sony, Sony PlayStation. Oh no, it's Nintendo PlayStation. Nintendo. It's crazy. It is. It was so wild, bro. It didn't yeah. make any sense in your mind. But here's here's the. Well, a, and thank God it didn't work out. Right. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, let's face it. Oh, at wow. that point. I mean, yeah, Sega. Hey, we've been over this before. Yeah. Oh, but at oh. that point, Sega was kind of done. So then, like, what if, what if in this regard, like, what if? Yeah, like, that was their thirty-two edge. <laughs> yeah, like Saturn. They're like yeah. Saturn and the thirty-two. What if they like Bill and Ted though? Like, going. what if this had created like the video game utopia? You know, like what if like this system coming out had like caused, you know, everything like you know, to, to align. It's a little blurry. Yeah, kind of hard to see. We'll have the video up soon. Yeah. But I always wonder, like, how would the things have changed? Cause it would have been radical. It would have been a radical change, you know? Regular world to Silent Hill. It would have been, like, things would have been different. Oh, absolutely. And I wanted to, I wonder what that alternate future would have been like. Well, I, I like the, I mean, I like the, what we're, where we're at, too. That's great. Right. I mean, because like, we know but it. But, yeah, like, you have to if? wonder what if would have Sony did and Nintendo would Sega have done something, something different? Would, I, would Atari have come back? Do you think somebody else would have, yeah, stepped up and tried to compete with them? I wonder, because it seems like they always out. have to. Yes, it was. They were on their way up. And they, I mean, they did, they almost well, could, maybe well, the Dreamcast would have been more on. successful. Though. Not necessarily. Yeah, because yeah, because the, the PlayStation yeah. 2 the P- is, the oh, is the killer. Is the Sega Saturn, there would be no PlayStation yeah. 2. Sega might still be in the if game. If it wasn't the PlayStation, and the Sega announced that the Saturn was available the day they announced it, yeah. like, there was a lot of weird stuff going on. Oh, so. yeah, that was the dumbest thing. Yeah. Sega was just making a weird It was cool and awful. It was cool for yeah, me, so like, I was like, now I can get it. But I almost felt like they were <laughs> backed in a corner and they had no other choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like the yeah. Sega Drive's out, right? Or the, the Saturn's out right, right, now. right now. And it's like, well, did you tell the people what? that are making games for it? Sega yeah. Saturn Saturday, I think it was. They <laughs> did the thing. They crazy. tried to run an advertisement in Toys R Us and all the Sega Saturns were like super yeah. cheap or something. Such a like, neat yeah, idea. At least got to tell Nobody knew about it. But I think it's really cool when the industry can keep secrets of that caliber because, like, how do you get away with that? Even Diddy Kong Racing came out like a month after it was announced. Like it was a really small time frame in which Rare's like, by the way, this is coming in like a month. And everybody's like, what? And that took me by surprise. But you know, now of course that doesn't happen because people find games online, they data mine like crazy, and there's no surprises left. Yeah. Well, no one knew, no one saw that. Who was time. tall? Pete Dora was That's talking true. about Actually, that. That's true. Actually, that was very impressive. Yeah, the NES Mini saw. was how did, how does, wow. very how does out of left field. Mini doesn't get leaked at all. The NES yeah. Mini. It's like one day we woke up. Oh shit! There's no a one predicted Nintendo that plug-in until play. the announcement. Nobody saw it. It was all PR. On day so up. it makes that's, me wonder what, what what they have up their sleeve with the NX. Because if it's just rumors everywhere, <laughs> yeah, we could be just completely wrong, which is exciting. Yeah, I think they're gonna do Metroid Prime. Oh god, I hope the NX. Oh. I've given up on Metroid. Have you? Yeah. I'm getting the 3DS game. Oh hell yeah, I am. I'm I mean, so there hasn't been a good. Whoa, there's never been a Hold bad on. Metroid game. What? Yeah. He, he defends I will contest yeah. you to the t- death. Well, I just... <laughs> other M. Yeah. Other M. No way. So you didn't like the story? No. But was it a good game? No, not really. It was I a mean, great game. It, it had good mechanics. Aha. Uh-huh. Dude, I'm not, a, I'm not an FPS guy. Fusion was the last best mas- Metroid. You didn't like Prime. It was well, some camera person. That's fair. But it's also lost a lot slower, though. It's very exploration-based. 
It's not like yeah, shooter based, really. And plus, you can yeah. lock onto things for the sake. I, of the I can't moment. say I, I dislike it or like it. Okay, okay. Because I haven't played it. Oh, <laughs> uh, Metro Prime Fusion. Because it's like a FPS, so I like I have a hard time with that. Okay. Always felt like uh, Metro Prime Fusion. Always felt like some other version of Zelda, like Stop. some alternate timeline <laughs> of Zelda. Fusion is a beautiful game. Fusion is a great game. Well, and I after playing bad, after playing mean, through yeah. other M again, I went back through Fusion, and Fusion's even better than I remember because the because other M storyline supplements a good it. Game, a good match over. Oh, I did. I just played other M. Yeah, it's a phenomenal <laughs> game. Oh my! You step on things' heads and you shoot them in the mouth. You do backflips. Mechanically, it's a great game. This is why yeah. and people disagree with this all the time. Story for me is not necessary to make an enjoyable game. If right. a game has a great story, I'm all on board. But if a game plays well, everything else is tertiary. But if I pay attention, you gotta make me sit down and watch a cutscene of, you know, uh, uh, Samus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Please don't make it her, A, just be this kind of dependent person. Give me mm-hmm. a good story. You're going to make me sit down and watch a cutscene. Sure, but you can skip those. Oh, yeah, no. There but, are countermeasures for all the things you might you, not like in the game. Say, I know, I know. I'm you just, know? That's all I'm saying is if a game has a countermeasure that makes it unnecessary to experience, utilize that. But, make your own experience better. Don't focus on the story. Ignore it completely. Ignore what they worked on? Do you think Metroid 1 story is something to write home about? It's like a paragraph that's badly worded. But, uh, but I think I think Metroid, that's not fair though because Super Metroid, uh, but it still uh, exists as a good game. The original Metroid and the Super Metroid well, did mm-hmm. something that no other, nobody else was doing in mm-hmm. storytelling at the time, which was telling a visual story. Yes, not telling stories with words. And I think that's fine. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good way to it's go. It's like uh, Dark Souls in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. okay. That's you fair. don't necessarily need. Mm-hmm. It just shows you these things happening. You it's experience like, wow. the story actively. Right. Yeah. You yeah. walk into a room and there's mm-hmm. a guy that's dead and there's bugs crawling all over. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't need... There's no words, mm-hmm. but there's, like... You know that happened because, you know, that sets the sure. tone. it's part of the experience. And uh, Metroid Prime is great because the story is also extremely secondary, but you can get tons of it by scanning everything and learning infinitely more about the game than it presents you actively. And I think that's a great way to go, is to give the player the experience to, to, to say, I'm going to choose how much story I intake. I like when games do that. Mm-hmm. I'm a JRPG man, so I like... That's fair. I love great stories. I love the Final Fantasy series. But you I know love... what JRPGs are doing now? Is mm. they're talking too much. I can agree with that. You agree with that? I agree. I don't like the talking. They talk forever. <laughs> that drives me nuts. You know what, though? It it's the fact nuts. that they're not talking about anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the real big like problem. Yeah. 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 Just you know who does it right? Nino Cooney. Oh, I love that's that the game. game I was thinking yeah. about before. That's I like feel like the, what, whatever is they're talking about is... Furthering the story along. It's never just empty dialogue. Exactly. Nino Cooney was great on everything except for me. I could not stand the combat system. So I bailed. Oh, really? That's yeah, fair. I bailed. It's weird. I mean, I don't know. I, I get I, it. I, I liked it, but... Like, super early. And I, as soon as I find a way to cheat a game, I, I leave because I don't like cheating. That's fair. Huh. No self-control? It gets hard, though. So I don't know <laughs> if you found a way to cheat it or not. Although, I'm, if I'm playing, like, Mario Maker... And somebody makes a level where you can just like skip over the top of it. I'll skip over the top of it. If your level is made that poorly, yeah, I'll play it poorly. Yeah. You know, like if you have to make like a level. Do they that have Mario through. Maker for 3DS? No, I wish. Oh, uh, it's like uh, when you pointed that, I was enough. like, maybe no, I bet the NX will do it. I was just thinking, yeah, probably a portable Mario Maker. Oh my god. <laughs> but um, yeah, like if, if a game is designed with like a flaw like that in mind, well, I might just exploit the flaw because it's right in front yeah. of me. You know, not even that I want to, but like I can. So you never finished Neo Kuni? <laughs> No, I got to, I got to like a volcanic mountain, and I thought, oh that's dude that's not even you're barely not, barely but, even in the game. But I I was pretty far into it. What I got through like th- at least three cities. It was it, it was a ways in. Dude, three, I feel, three out of like twenty cities. Dude, I seriously <laughs> feel like that's the, like five percent into the game. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I haven't put the disc in the system yet. Yeah. I got this fight with some guy, and at the time I had two characters, I think. So I was beyond that's it. One. And like. Wait. One of the characters, I was able to just like hang back, and then go in and then fight, and then as soon as I got low, I just walk away, and heal up again, and mm-hmm. then walk back in. And I was like, "This is fucking dumb," mm-hmm. and I, I just quit. I was like, "Because I, oh, I loved everything else. Like, I love the story and the graphics." Dude, you're seriously like five percent of the game. <laughs> you're still, you're so still hard, in the tutorial. Hey, sometimes if you're, you're not feeling like, it, like it. Like no, you know, what, what's the incentive to further it. your experience? You know, right. I played uh, Tales of Symphonia, and I actually didn't like that game at all, which sucks because it's the kind of game I should like completely. For the PS4? Uh, for the GameCube. Yeah, the original oh, okay. GameCube Tales of Symphonia. And I love like, real-time action RPGs, 
and I just couldn't handle it. I just it wasn't enjoying it in any way. What's the Tales game that just came out for the PS4? Tales uh, of Zestaria, something. Uh, the name, yeah, yeah. made up word. I just really bought that. One. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, I can't remember. The any Tales games are all over. I don't. Yeah. Know, I can't keep them straight. And I should love them. I just couldn't get into them. I don't know why. Like they just don't do it. For I me, just bought it. Having I a mechanic, it I love. I thought it'd be good. I haven't played it yet, but I just got it. A lot of people like him. All right, Mike Cook asked, what was the first PS2 game everyone bought? I took a chance on a game called Shadow of Destiny and kind of liked it. In GTA Vice oh, City, yeah. which blew my mind, but expect. We have a lot of people who ask for Shadow of Destiny. PS2. So, PS2, from PS1 to PS2, I take a break in gaming. Okay, so you weren't doing anything at the time? Oh, that's right, you weren't. Huh? You got back into the PS3. Exactly. And you got back in. I did. But so when you got PS3 it, was out, and I had played <clears throat> God of War 3. Mm. And I was just like, where has this game been my whole life? Like, it's mm-hmm. such a good game. Mm-hmm. So I went back and bought a PS2 and played God of War 1 and 2. Mm-hmm. And those games were amazing. Mm-hmm. Man. So those, that's my answer. They're on a scale you can't even comprehend. For me, 6 Gen was weird because... I didn't enter the 6th gen. I was like, when was that, 2000? So I was 15. <clears throat> I had a Sega Saturn that my friend gave me. So I traded it in for the Dreamcast when the Dreamcast like I need much. died. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. it went down to like 50 bucks. Yeah. So I only got a Dreamcast. <laughs> and then, that was right around the time I, I got a job. I was working on my own. And then I decided, I finally had some money, so I went out and bought a GameCube. Mm-hmm. And... Change off this uh, I, I got rid of the GameCube. And then I, I, I think I just stuck with the Dreamcast for the longest time. And I, I went in the military, was in the military, and then didn't get a PS2 until like six months before the 360 came out. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and well, there's what a lot was of good I saying? That era, was, too. I started, I think it was a Call of Duty. It might have been Call of Duty Red. Was, a big, a big, big, big red, red one. one. Mm-hmm. It was like my first PS2 game. And my wife got it for me for like Christmas one year. And I remember playing that. I played other Call of Duty games. And... Torino Olympics. Yeah. That was it, man. And then I got into the 360. But yeah, that was a weird generation for me. Fair. And now I'm going back and playing all me these too. awesome There's PS2 games. a lot games of great stuff now, out there, man. man. I missed out on so much. Oh, I went PS2. back to the library. Oh. Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, of course. Yeah. And they're all great games. My first game was weird because it's not characteristic of me at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have a, a turbulent history with video games because my parents did not approve. So I had to I had to buy a console and then store it at my friend's house. <laughs> oh, Shot man. it, yeah. Wow. My dad That's destroyed great. my Super Nintendo stuff. Oh, it's gone. Why? 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 What, what is that about? I, he just hated all of that. Why? He took my Game Boy Pocket because that's all we could afford. Uh. And he slammed it on the ground and stomped on it. What? Why does he hate it? Just out of curiosity. Uh, he's old. My 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 dad is very old. So he was he's uh, sixty eight. Okay. So I'm, I'm, he had me when I, he was a lot older. Hmm. And uh, he's also an alcoholic. Hmm. So <laughs> that didn't help. Um, do you see her? Do you, uh, this is I'm probably, very much like him. This is probably too personal I'm very much to like ask him. on stream, but do you see him still? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. What does he think? Does he know? I that do, I'm like <laughs> that I do a podcast all about gaming, no, and doesn't all doesn't I do that. is game. He I'll, doesn't know that. He'd be like, oh, my goodness. Really? Crazy. That's funny. He's, he's so old school. Like, he's like. <clears throat> He wouldn't uh, even know what... I don't want to say some of that stuff, but he, he's, 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 he's messed Even up. if you try to explain, I do a streaming yeah. podcast on the internet, he wouldn't even know what those words mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't get any of that. I showed him YouTube one time, I think his brain exploded. <laughs> Dude, and yeah. my mom's like, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, she's yeah, on the stream. Yeah, yeah, she's watching the whole thing. Yeah, it's like your analytics are pretty good. What's up, Luis Diaz? <laughs> but my first game was actually Gran Turismo 3. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Good game. That's Which was start surprisingly with good. Yeah, I don't play those. those I don't either, but those games impress me. Four still impresses me so much as a PS2 game. Mm-hmm. It, it looks so unbelievable. I don't even care about that, that game, but it looks perfect. Yeah, after the Grand Turismo, I got <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Three. Oh, then you're good. No, nah, well, yeah. Good. <laughs> is, that, that, is that the best? Uh, that's probably the best PS2 game, huh? Metal, Metal Gear Solid Three. Uh, definitely the best Metal Gear Solid game. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Best, best well, PS- family. I'm, yeah, I'm like I'm alone in, <laughs> in Metal Gear. Oh, Solid one is, is perfect. One is perfect, oh, but yeah. three I mean, is perfecter. I don't know. Best PS2 game would be a fun discussion. That's a tough one. I would, yeah. I like, uh, That's is it Dragon's Quest 8? Before we get it, oh, yes. I want to know his favorite, so or his good. first game. Uh, PS2. 
Uh, arguably the, one of the worst titles in its series, but Devil May Cry 2. Uh, Fair. That's a rough one to start with, but that's nice. No. Everything else is better from there. Here's the thing. Since <laughs> I never played Devil May Cry 1, yeah. uh, this game was amazing. That's awesome. See, actually, that's a really cool <laughs> I've never silver played, lining. I played <laughs> Devil May Cry none. They're great, man. Yeah, that was a good one. I bought the third I one. Played, I haven't played any of them. I bought the third one when I was actually on deployment. Actually, I did have a PS2. I, I bought it while I was on deployment. I couldn't hook it up. I never played the damn thing. Mm. Um, but I remember I bought PS. I remember I bought Devil May Cry three when I was on deployment and literally never played it for whatever stupid reason. These things happen. Yeah. And then just now I'm going back. I don't think okay. everyone has yeah. a great game that you just didn't beat or didn't touch. I have a sealed copy of Okami on my shelf. Wow. I didn't like Okami. No. I don't see. I think that's even worse. <laughs> I, I, I played that game and I did not like it, and everyone loved it, and I feel so bad yeah. because it seems like a game I'd love because I love Zelda. Sure, I know we and should. I love art styles. I want to know like what is that game that everyone loves that you hate? Uh, but we got to go vice versa. Final, Final Fantasy. Fantasy, League of Legends. <laughs> oh, you little shit! You're just saying that because I'm sitting there. And no, he said, I don't he like said Final Legends. Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> Number one or series? I can't. The series, I can't, dude. I cannot get into it. Have Everything you, after seven is. I can't get into it. No, stop. <laughs> Everything is Ready good except nine. seven. <gasps> Damn! Hold on, I'm just like, oh, I actually yes. like it, but you wait, hold on. You like eight over seven? Oh yeah. No, seven is like eating you're dog crazy. poop, and eight is like eating you're like crazy. cake out of God's <laughs> chest. You're crazy. No. Yeah, no. Eight, eight. <laughs> eight. Cake out of God's chest. A thousand times better than seven. Let me explain I why. I just sold eight on Amazon. Let me explain why. <laughs> it's not it that I think seven's a bad game. I don't think seven's a bad game at all. I think it suffers from just, a lot of issues. You just said it was like you. I was totally joking. But <laughs> yeah, it's comparatively, yes, absolutely. But so my problem with seven is all, it is no, there's nothing to do with the game itself. What's up, Matt Ray? Personal experience. In Matt which Ray. I played Final Fantasy One, played Final Fantasy Three, or you know, two, and then three American titles, and my expectations were so high for Seven, it could not be met, and I was disappointed in every single level of that game, save for like a couple of songs. The CG was kind of neat, you know. Summons were cool. Didn't care for the story. Didn't care for the characters, and I felt it was so largely forgettable that by the time Eight came out, I was like, you know what? I think it's going to be even worse. And then Eight interested me, so I was like, well, it's already better than Seven based on the demo. And it was all set of expectations, nothing to do with anything from the game That's quality, but all personal your, perspective. Your expectations that, were so low for eight. Yeah, that it actually made eight better for you. Correct. <laughs> and so, I also because I was going through like a breakup at the time, I was playing eight. The love story element was like super resonant with me, and so eight I got a lot more attached to. And it was all expectations, nothing to do with the quality of any of these games. It simply was a weird perspective that I had that I don't expect anybody to share. Hey, Scarlet oh, Speedster. That makes perfect sense. And that's, that's what it came down to. It. That's what it came down to. I don't think Seven's bad in any way. They're just saying hi. As I played through it again, Ask us some I appreciate questions. Seven so much more. I yeah. think it's a great game. Throw a question out there, you guys. <laughs> We're at AZ Ask Game on Expo this weekend, so any questions? Retro, yeah. retro yeah. Remix Nation. I was yeah. shocked he came in because he probably had a long day, huh? Yeah, probably. And All he right. came into the chat. Well, my first PS2 game, though. Yeah, yeah, was uh, import because I imported the PS2 and like the options were so limited. I had Tekken Tag and Ridge Racer, whatever it was, five, four. I don't know. Are we, are we we're talking about favorite PS2? It was the ones first that I PS2 first game. played because yeah. I imported the PS2 and I, those are the only like two games that I had and I didn't even really care for either yeah, of them, but I played them a lot. Wait, yeah. we're talking about games that everyone loves. It. Oh no, well, no, no, no. we we gotta finish up the PS2. We also still have we'll to finish to up the what games are you playing because that never <laughs> happened. We got no, that's right also here. I'm fine that that ship was sailed too. So, yeah. uh, but the PS2 game, your favorite PS2 game. Well, here's here's the thing is I always tell them and nobody ever believes me or listens to me because people are crazy. <laughs> should always listen to me, but I always say there's a difference between favorite game and best game. I fully agree. Fully so, agree. So, much. oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So I would ask you, what is the best game for the PS2? Metal Gear Solid 3. Hands down. Story, uh, gameplay. I might say God of War 2. Not, Not my favorite, two. but San Andreas is a pretty man. vital entry into like the PS2's like overall. Which one? Uh, San Andreas. Oh, I didn't yeah. even care for this, the Grand Theft Auto games at that point. Right. I think the game is fine, but I yeah. think it's very essential for like part of like a main library. If you were to like choose generally. But God of War. Yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. God of War 2 pushed that system, man. Yeah. Like, I'll oh. throw a sort of curveball. It's not really a curve, but I probably do think San Andreas is probably fundamentally the best game. Yeah. But I'll just throw it. To be different, I'll say Shadow of the Colossus. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Man. That game is perfect. If you but want an artistic, like one of my artistic endeavor. Yeah, my I mean, personal that's, well, and push the system. 
It pushed did. It yeah, that system couldn't handle it. Pushed it, it. to the slowdown. Beautiful, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I think the slowdown made it almost more majestic. Yeah, because, like, it just, yeah, like, yeah. You yeah. felt an impact on everything that happened. It was so cool. I actually did like that because yeah. uh, at least I, people and, and, know the PS is actually working. Right? <laughs> working hard. Just working hard. I, uh, man, I might, dude. It's my personal favorite. I might God have to hand, agree with you. But San Andreas, like, was so ambitious and they yeah. pulled it off. I mean, San Andreas, from a crazy. technical standpoint, and almost everything is just. Incredible. incredible. I may game. say that and Shadow I, Colossus is probably the best and the, my favorite. <laughs> that's now that I too. think about that's it, it's a phenomenal game. And Mike Cook wants a remake of Hot Shots Golf. Hot Shots, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those games are good. So I thought funny. they did make one. John, so, what, do you, what do you what do you think your fa- uh, what your my best favorite PS2 game or your best? What are we saying? Oh, best. Yeah, yeah. Man. What's the best? What's your favorite? The are we doing the the dichotomy? I would say. Yeah, yeah. Cause I like yeah. Let's let's, let's both. That's wow. Oreo. Yes, I do. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> that Oreo, man. Huh? I'll take oh, it. Yeah, pass it on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank do you. it. Yeah, best and favorite. How about that? Yeah. I don't know. I hear this. I have a lot of series I could probably distinguish on both of those. Like best Final Fantasy for me, you know, like in general is. I would say seven is easily the most easily representable. You know, when they chose Cloud for Smash Brothers, clearly, like yeah. there's nobody else who would even come close. That he makes the most sense for anything. But my personal favorite is probably still six. You know, mine is one. Hmm? Yeah. yeah, one. Yeah, I don't think I have a favorite PS2 game, man. That's like, that's a tough question. There were so me. many good ones yeah. to choose from in different genres. <laughs> Dragon Quest Eight. Oh, it's so good. That game's amazing. Which uh, was why I'm super pumped. I was playing it on my. Emulator? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's free on uh, Android right now. It's one advantage you guys have. Yeah. One of the many. <laughs> one of the many. Um, but I, I saw it on. Uh, I, I had. I was down. I downloaded it for free on my emulator. Because mm-hmm. that's what men do. <laughs> you grow a pair. And uh, it was amazing. But I stopped playing because they're like, by the way, this is coming out for the 3DS this year. Yeah, I'm gonna like, wait for that what? version again. I'm just gonna play it there because yep. I can shit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Scarlet Speedstar wants to know what is Game on Expo. <laughs> Good question. I don't know. It's a game, convention. Game on Expo is a <laughs> not just a retro convention, but a, all kinds of games. Um, Celebration of gaming. It could be tabletop game. They got D- Dungeons and Dragons there. Mm-hmm. Um, they have I'm gonna get some custom dice. Board all games, kinds of. Games. It's just a convention, and it's just like full of booths and people selling mm-hmm. games. Massive arcade, right? They have a place there where these games, all these games, are set up. You can play for free. Mm-hmm. And then friends. they have panels from. From uh, YouTubers, uh, different different YouTubers that mm-hmm. um, are pretty famous, that you go and you just sit there and ask them all kinds of questions and stuff like that. So it's and a good time to network and and just have fun. Oh yeah, and we had a blast today. We're going back tomorrow and we got just so many interviews lined up tomorrow. It's going to mm-hmm. be insane. And we got to be there at ten. Oh yeah, something just yeah. so you know. Oh. So what are our goals? Maybe we can go around the room doing that. What's our, our, our goals for while we're there? Personal I just goals. need to get these interviews. I just need yeah. to get laid. <laughs> it's in Arizona. <laughs> no. uh, Scarlet Speedster, it's in Arizona. Mm-hmm. They're from oh. New Mexico, but they came down to Arizona. Is this the one of your crowd? No, I've never met Scarlet years. Speedster. Oh, okay. They're in New Mexico, is what it sounds like. Oh, they're in New Mexico. Mine. Yeah, actually, oh, is yeah. That, yeah. Is that, uh, that is. Your, it's at, what's your name? Me, I'm trying to remember exactly who it is, but like <laughs> this person comes in my Twitch chats a lot. I think I think um, my goal for it is probably networking. See what what's up with these other YouTubers. And, yeah, I mean I'm not gonna go around and parade myself, but right. if they ask, I'm gonna wear a shirt that says the Itch Network. So if they're like, hey, what's that? You know, I might just have a spiel ready. I'll mm-hmm. tell you the one thing I'm so mad about, and I don't know if you guys watch this episode. I have my brother made this. Amazing ocarina of time medallion out of beads, like little tiny beads, and it's amazing. And I don't know why I didn't wear it. And oh my gosh, it'd be like people when I wear it at other cons, people offer me hundreds and hundreds of dollars for it, and I, you know, I turn them down. Mike, uh, Mike says anything you, yeah, anything you're looking to purchase or any one you're looking to meet this year at Game On. Uh, me personally. I'm just looking for like off the like oddball retro stuff, man. Yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. like strange pal games or 
you know. Oh yeah, people had home brews. Yeah, you know. There was one guy who actually had like a whole like set of repro carts, um, including Pokemon Yellow for the NES. Yeah. And it was like a big bright yellow cartridge with the Pikachu sticker on. It was actually kind of cool looking. Yeah. Well, I was actually looking at a friend sent me a link uh, from a seller from uh, AliExpress or something like that, and it's a he's a he's a reproduction seller. He's like mm. in China. Okay. And he has like just about I mean Earthworm Jim. Uh, he has a Final Fantasy VII Nintendo card. Yeah, that's awesome. Which is I've seen cool. that. And he's got all these other ones, these rare games that you normally, you know, Dracula X. <clears throat> you know, mm-hmm. Normally, it's two hundred fifty dollar game. He sells it for like five bucks with shipping, and it's you know just a um, a reproduction card and sure. it plays like the original. Yeah. You know? Stuff like that would be cool, I think. Mm-hmm. I should have brought my copy of Dracula X. At my store, we have a sealed copy. <laughs> well, there's Dracula something about, store. like, for me, like, homebrew games. Like, yeah. they're new games for these old systems I've never yeah, played. Yeah, that's a really cool yeah, kind of concept. Yeah, homebrew. I'm always down to play a homebrew game. Man. So, another question. Actually, we should probably get into this question later, but, I mean, since we're talking well, about homebrew. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. Is um, one thing that we talk about on our podcast all the time is how do you feel about using old cartridges to like give homes to repro carts instead of like right, printing yeah, out like yeah, a brand yeah. new you know cartridge case for it because the moment you destroy something it's actually destroyed forever like you yeah. never have it's just one less copy of that game in the world period what do they call those when you do that um i mean There's donor, a name. donor carts yeah donor, donor carts yeah. yeah i don't know man how I'm, i feel about that you know cuz like the reproductions if they're like custom cases like they don't feel quite the same but they function and it's not killing another cartridge even if it's like madden or nba whatever you're not sacrificing an actual older cartridge forever. Yeah, because at some point there's a board inside that cart. So you <clears throat> got to do something with that board. It's probably going in the trash. So you're yeah. saying a donor cart is already broken? Um, I mean... Not it doesn't necessarily. Yeah, it could be like a Mario Brothers or a game that's yeah, $3. You can still take just a crappy uh, game wrestling, to use as a know? donor cart. And here, well, here's the thing. And you talked about this the other day. Uh, you know, <laughs> he had a kid come in. <laughs> Bless you. you. He had a kid come into his store one buy uh, super fast fishing or something. Oh, yeah. And, man, when he, and, you know, it's a $2, $3 game, right, or something like that. Mm-hmm. But when he gave it to the kid, man, the kid was just, like, so happy. He had just got the best game in the world. Why? Because that's a game he played with his father, and his father's dead. And so it's like, maybe that game's a Madden game. Yeah. Maybe that game's a... Yeah. Maybe to some kid, and maybe, you know, Madden's still very common, but at some point yeah. it might not be. And so, like, what what do you do when you're looking for a copy of that game that is no longer in abundance and holds yeah. that value to and you? And you can say, like, and you can also say, <clears throat> well, what if... Because most of the games that are probably gutted out are just stupid games, but if you continue to gut out stupid games... It's a finite amount. And they amount. become rare, yeah. rare. It is a finite amount of games, ultimately. So it's you like, know? I don't know how There is a limit to how that, many actually you know? exist, so... You know, it's one less part in the world history. And maybe mm-hmm. um, you know, people do throw them away and people break them, people get rid of them, but whatever the case, that's still, you're contributing to it. So I like the idea of people 3D printing like brand new yeah. cartridges for it because then there's no harm, no foul. What was that question? What was that question? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. No, no, I'm just so we can get right, Is there oh. anything you're looking to buy or yeah, is right. anyone you're looking to meet when uh, you're there? It's, far, I, I, it's funny, okay, I got a story. For, yeah. <laughs> well, we I've met every single person today. Mm-hmm. Every YouTuber there, I've talked to them, basically because, um, you know, we're, we got press passes. I know a, a good handful already, and then we were setting up interviews with everyone else. So, we, you know, I've met and talked with everyone I wanted to interview. Um, but when we were on our way down, you know, John and I were talking. It's like, are you going to buy anything? And I said, well, if I buy anything, it's going to be a fan- fantasy star game. Because mm-hmm. at one point, I owned them all, and now I own none. <laughs> because drugs are bad. Okay, so. <laughs> Fair. And I sold them to, to buy drugs when I was a kid. But here's the thing. I said, I was only a fantasy star game. And then Retro Liberty was doing a panel, and they were giving away games if you knew the music. Mm-hmm. And all the way down here, we were doing that music trivia. Yeah. So every song that came on, I knew it. He knew it. I couldn't get in line because I was filming. So he got online, won it, and one of the cartridges they were giving away was a Fantasy Star 2. With like the book and With everything. the book, with the map. the map. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he won it and gave it to me, and like 
Dude, I, I'm, I'm so happy. So you're I don't need nothing. You met your folks, you got your game. I'm totally like, I'm now just here for the ride. I wanted to look for a copy of Snatcher, but like I don't think it's going to happen. And even if it does, I don't know if I'm willing to pay. I just What is that? Is like 350 now? Snatcher? It's, yeah, it ranges, but like, it's probably like the good general value for like good condition. Good God. Yep. Uh... What's up, Rosie? You're you not gonna to, go. You're, you're, you're but nothing. if you were to go, like, what would you wanna? Uh, for me, it's always to get some retro games. But um, I gotta get a retro console too. If you could have any retro game, though, like if you could like pick one like dream game to find at the show. Uh, uh, Goo Troop. Yes. Goo Troop. Good choice. Uh, so for me, yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, it's a great game. It's a weird. Dude, this game comes up so much. Shinji Mikami, it's man. It's so weird. <laughs> you did that. I'm gonna have to get it. Is it uh, good? Yeah. It's a two-player like. Zelda really? style co op game. Yeah. What? Yeah. So, me and my dad actually, that was like the one game we always bonded on and it would beat like over and over again. Why these things are important? Why these things are important, man? That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, Scarlet Speeder, Speedster asked about Pokemon Go. Anybody got any thoughts on it? Just like in general? Got a couple questions. So you can fun. watch like, my video that we just released on Pokemon Go. My thoughts are that I enjoy playing funny. it. Like I play it once a week for a couple hours, but like that's yeah. I, I mostly use it as a tool to socialize. <laughs> I don't um, like, depends you know. on the agenda for me. I, I don't, uh, my agenda was never to capture all the Pokemon. It was just to ever fight them. So I I don't enjoy is, Pokemon. Is Go. that the goal to catch them all? Yes, uh, I had that goal in high school. You ask, but that's for me. That's the goal. Yeah, for most, some people was to catch them all. Mine was just a fight. Yeah, right? I, I, I think I caught them all on red. Mm -hmm. uh, every Pokemon game thereafter, it right. was just I need my core six, and then I'm gonna yeah. you're good. And then I just want to beat Lance or whoever is the dragon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the typical Pokemon Go player um, that has never played Pokemon in their life. Yeah. I mean, I downloaded the app because mm -hmm. I was curious, and every now and then when I'm at work, I'll, you know, oh, oh, shit, see what's over here, you know, sure. play it, and that's, that's about it. I don't know nothing so, about Pokemon. I do, I do appreciate the fact that it's getting people out the house. Yeah. yeah. Even though like, some of them were just cheating and going in the cars and getting them that way. No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't see the point, but people are like, I got to catch them all. Yeah, you know, I, know. I mean, it's it's again, one of those busy well, work games. Well, no, no, it's one of the modern, <clears throat> it's just a modern day Pokemon, like, I bet in the Pokemon world they'd be in the cards just catching Pokemon. True. Uh, Mike Cook asked, does anybody, does everyone still use all original systems, or has anyone moved to the Retron to save space? No. Oh, I, I have a Retron, mm -hmm. but I have every system. I also I use the Retron Five when I'm doing like videos because it's HDMI and my, my yeah. capture. I capture. HDMI. I capture through my Retron. Capture, too. man, that's. <laughs> I don't use capture devices. Just like a camera that Dude, I'm low, I'm low budget. But that's also really cool. I got my camera right, right in front. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't have a Retron, but I have the, the consoles I do have. I have mm -hmm. all the older ones. Um, you've, seen, you've seen my setup. Yeah. yeah. So I've got pretty much Nintendo on up. Yeah. I don't think I, I don't have anything rare. I don't have like um, the TurboGrafx-16 or anything. Which, I bought. I'd like that. If I find a decent price tomorrow, maybe I'll snag one. See, I bought. I just recently bought a Conkers for a day for twenty five cents. Yeah, you monster. And then I traded it to, for him and some other things and got a Turbo, Turbo Graphics, Graphics mm -hmm. sixteen. We haven't seen those systems like three years, and suddenly we've got like four of them. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. That's how it goes. Bro. It is how it goes. It's always. It's all seasonal. Like things just come and go. People were like, Kanye's gonna name his next album Turbo Graphics. Selling this thing, dude. Right. <laughs> we just tarnished it. I'm uh, done. I uh, I just emulate. Sorry. I've I've no problem with it. Yeah, none of that stuff bothers me. We get customers who come in all the time, like, you know, and they're they're respectful about it. We only have this one kid who came in. He goes, "Why would I buy anything in your store if I can just play it on my computer?" He's like, "No, that's fair, but why are you here then?" Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "I don't know, whatever." So he took off. Like, I fully acknowledge that people can do this. I even encourage people to try it. You know, we also do like trial periods on our games. But I'm well aware of the fact that 90% of the stuff that we sell in my store, you can just play online on your computer yeah. for free. And that's no problem with me because people still hold tangibility to be such like a vital component of their experience that it hasn't affected our business at all. You know, yeah. Otherwise, we'd be squandered like nothing. Well, yeah. we, have a, we have a local retro store in our area, Fallout Games, and mm -hmm. actually they are releasing their own Raspberry Pi. Why and not? It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, their, yeah. it's, it's their console. It's... It's got like over 400 games preloaded on it. Mm -hmm. It's got an interface, kind of like the PlayStation interface, user interface you mm -hmm. can go through. You can plug the thing directly into your computer and just know, dump the ROMs about. onto it. My biggest and concern would be that Nintendo, with, who still actively like licenses you know, these games out on Virtual Console, would be like, guys, this is not like, you yeah. know, because 
they're still doing that. They're it's still making you, money off my of site that I use that I go to to mm-hmm. download them. All the Nintendo stuff got cleared out within I the think, last six months. Was it really okay? I was wondering. Might have been a year. I can't remember. But it's everyone has it. It's like you can't. Yeah. It's like trying to it's stop kinda, a flood with yeah. It still exists. A bag there. of rice. It's like, right. Trying to beat Russia. <laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, the can't Soviet sickle comes down, you know. Yeah. That's it. Like I was like, like the Nintendo powers recently went up mm-hmm. online. I'm like, well, I wonder how long that lasts before Nintendo takes it down. I wonder if they will. I wonder what like the licensing issue like could be with Nintendo powers being online. Because with the magazine being defunct, like there might be like a, a period. Well, like I did that episode on Zelda, mm-hmm. the Zelda remake. Post, oh yeah, that got it. pulled. Posted it, day. and then like the next day, I got pulled, and yeah. the creators wrote me and stuff, and they were like, you know, just t- they informed me on like um, what was said and stuff. But sure. it's crazy, dude. Yeah. So Scarlet Speedster asks, "What do you think about GameStop destroying games, accessories, etc., and throwing them in the trash? Couldn't they be restored?" It should be noted that okay. GameStop isn't the only company that does this. Like every, well, yeah. do they do it though? Here's the thing, man. Because the dumpster diving is so huge now. Yeah. And when sometimes... We know a couple dumpster divers. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> like, you have to cut a cord. <laughs> sometimes you have to cut a cord and you have to break a disc. Otherwise, they've tested it and it's broken. Mm-hmm. And they don't want people to come and, or even whip, rip people off and try to sell it again online or on Craigslist. Yeah. Or back to the store. Or back yeah. to the store. Like the I, It's happened. I, and so... I understand that. I don't know their practices. I do know what pisses me off is the whole 3D case thing, 3DS cases. Like they oh, take like them Game out, stuff? so to save Driving room, nuts. Yeah. to save room, they take the the game out, put it in that little yeah. thing they have, and they throw the case out. All the local game stores give their cases to us now. Oh, do they? That's great. Yeah, we have a, a, a ton of them. We can't do anything with most of them, but I mean, I don't want them to be gone, so we keep them. Well, maybe you can fill up all the. This I find at garage sales. Yeah, man. I, <laughs> it, it, it goes one way. I go to garage sale and all I find is the discs. Or I go to garage sales and all I find is the case. There's never yeah. the, the two shall never meet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I'm gonna have to come check it out. Uh, Olga asked us, out of the five of you guys, how many of you would say that gaming that gaming it out is one of your biggest sources of entertainment? All of us. <laughs> I would say theoretically, because I know I don't game out anymore is the problem. But that's, yeah. so, I want to. I, yeah, I we're so busy. To. What's gaming out? I think just like binging. Like, yeah, just game. like. Um, would say that gaming it out is gaming one of your biggest source of entertainment. I don't watch TV, so yeah. Oh, playing games is pretty much my only entertainment. Watching YouTube yeah. as well. Yeah. And with me, you know, um, I love to game it out. And she, what she said, what she's, because I'll go to, like, when I go visit my mom's house, we put that PlayStation in, we put Mortal Kombat in, and no one leaves for three days. Yeah. That's what she's talking about, I think, uh, you know, dope. where we just, like, game it out. Nuts. And I can only do that every so often. Yeah. Because, you know, with making movies and, and, and making YouTube shows. It's just there's no time sometimes to play like the, how I want to, mm-hmm. for sure. But it is my escape. Yeah. And it always has been. Given you know? opportunity, you'll do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. And you know, and my mom knows more than anything. Like, you know, you know, growing up, you know, the way I grew up, and with drugs and everything, like that was my escape, man. Like video games, mm-hmm. you know. I, didn't, you know. That, that was just what we did. So For me, I mean, mm-hmm. it's the greatest escape. It is. For sure. It's my favorite. Right. <laughs> 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 I hope the mic picked that Sweet up. Sweet dreams, <laughs> yeah. Just to fill in the crowd of what just happened. Because they're like, probably, like, why did we just start laughing? So we have Teddy with us, who's, who's like kind of like an intern learning video and filmmaking under me knows nothing about gaming so as soon as we started this co- this podcast he kind of went and laid down he just made the weirdest <laughs> yeah. weirdest noise in his sleep that was so, an x-rated groan is what yeah that was. <laughs> your sofa might need to be changed i don't know what <laughs> happened there <laughs> uh scarlet speedster asked something we already kind of talked about so real quick thoughts on the new mini nintendo nes coming out in the fall yeah we did touch yeah, on yep. that but very excited 
I think, it's, I think we kind of pretty much came down to we're all excited for it. We just hope that Nintendo makes enough of them. So pretty much. I, I was excited, personally not interested. But yeah, excited. yeah. To know that it's going to be good nope. for the community at large. Who wants for, but I show. think it might be, yeah, like... Will I own one? Maybe someone will probably buy me one for Christmas. Sure. In all honesty, and go, hey, dude. Like, like he would love this. Would you? Like, you know, because I got like the Genesis one. <laughs> I got the Atari one, and I never bought it. But dude, uh, you know what I mean. For store events, all I can think about is taking two oh, yeah. flat panels and two of the NES minis, taking up no room, and going able to do events all the time. But what I what I'm that. what I'm interested in seeing and how. The, what happens in the market is someone buying this thing or getting it for Christmas or getting it for from someone else that said, oh, you remember we used to play this and then they play it and then they go, oh, man, yeah, I really loved Mega Man 1, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not on here. Yeah. I really want to play that. Thing. Yeah. And then they go and get a Nintendo. Yeah. And a game. You know what I mean? In terms of marketing, I think Nintendo's main angle is to say, remind to remind people, hey, this is why you know, this is why Nintendo was fun. Yeah. This is what you remember. This is what makes Nintendo relevant. And I think it it is a almost like a marketing scheme mm -hmm. for the NX. Yes. To bring Nintendo back their name to the forefront. Correct. That's what you I'm know, thinking. Nintendo they're not dumb, man. Yeah. Sometimes they are, yes. <laughs> but the, but like when when things are looking rough, that's when they pull their trump card, and I think they're playing. That's why I'm so excited for this think, NX, I think dude. people look at Nintendo in the completely wrong light. <laughs> and it, it just makes me laugh every single time. Because everyone's always like, they need to get their third parties back in. I'm like, they, I don't understand why. They don't need to. Yeah. <laughs> they have I don't Nintendo. know why they need third parties. It's good to have the support, but it's not necessary. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why do they need to have... These why do they need Call of Duty? No. Why, does, why does Nintendo Call of Duty? Call just Duty? plenty of play Call of Duty's on PS4. It's yeah. on the Xbox One. It's on the PC. Why does Nintendo need it? They don't. They, they have Mario. They never have. And even when you go back to back to the NES, all the great games. I mean, there are some. I mean, Konami and stuff like that. They but they, but a lot of the LJN and all those Oof. games, no one cared about. They're not. You know. And I, I'm not trying to take away from Castlevania. Yeah. There are some amazing Capcom and stuff. But like I love that. the fact that also out there, there's somebody who like Who Framed Roger Rabbit was their favorite NES game. Somebody. Somebody's got Somebody. I, I played it a lot. I don't think it was yeah. good, but I played the hell out of it. Uh, I don't think I could beat the last guy. It took forever. It's doable. I don't it just remember. Takes Mike Cook says he still has a new cart. He, get, he gets the new cart with rosters for Tecmo Super Bowl. By the way, my personal favorite sports game is Tecmo. It's Tecmo Bowl. Mm -hmm. Not Blitz? Really? With the unlicensed yeah. I thought we talked about this the other night, and I said Tecmo. mine And I said mine was uh, Super Tecmo Bowl. What was that? Was that over here? I don't remember. Uh, uh, and that makes everyone I know... Game out. He puts that in quotes like crazy. Tecmo Bowl? Yeah. yeah. Uh, for, them to, for that to be on the list, I was so happy Tecmo to see Bowl, it. Super Tecmo Bowl. He suggests a drinking game shot for every field goal. Awesome. Have you guys seen that Family Guy part where he plays as Bo Jackson? Have you guys, do you guys watch Family Guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like... Because Bo Jackson's yeah, so Peter OP'd. Plays Bo Jackson he's so OP'd he's like, in the game. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Nerf there. games. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Speaking <laughs> of drinking time. games, yeah. when you get my movie, the behind the scenes is two hour behind the scenes, and I made it a drinking game. Oh, clever. So, like, check it out. See if you can survive. <laughs> Actually, send me an email when you get done. And I don't know, know how drunk are you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. And are there any more questions in the chat? That's all we got. The last man. question of yeah. all time. That's it. I don't know. Should we wrap it up? Favorite game. Favorite? Ever? About all time? <clears throat> yeah. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. Go oh, ahead. That's easy, dude. Oh. Uh, 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 someone else go ahead. <laughs> Symphony of the Night. I'm Excellent game. You can't deny how good that game is. Yeah. Every time I played it, I'm impressed. I just, I'd still just go back and run through it every now and then. Mm -hmm. And like, how good is, um, what is it, Bloodstain? I mean, oh, oh yeah! I got yeah. sent the demo. Did you try yeah. it? I did not. I oh, sent it to great, Jimmy okay. because I don't have a PC. Okay. So I sent it to Jimmy. Yeah. And he did a video on it. It's great. And it looks amazing. It feels terrific. And what's cool too is uh, Igarashi. Like one thing he said was, "We're not trying to like reinvent anything. We're not trying to make you feel the same way." He said, "We're literally just doing this to appease the fans of Castlevania." Yeah. It's I love yeah. It. It's and a right very now, it's, it's like this it is needs the, to succeed after Mighty Number no. Nine bombs so bad. I'm sure it will, because comparatively, even though I love Mighty Number no. Nine, I know I'm in the minority too. I had a great time with that game. 
this is just a way better. I don't attack. know. I, I, I can't. I don't. My number nine yet. is a good game. Mm-hmm. It's not a good Mega Man game. That's the only problem. Yeah, fair. yeah, fair assessment. There's no yeah, charming. It's not bad. Bad. I don't think it's a bad game. It mechanically, it plays bad. terrifically. Terrible voice acting. Un, you know, forgettable characters, and the music is very kind of whatever. I actually like the music. I like it in 8-bit mode because I don't remember any of it. You can buy How you much does it cost? It. 20 bucks. You 20? get it for 20 bucks. Because oh, okay. yeah. it's on Gamefly right now for like 15. Man. Yeah. I almost I enjoy it. it. It's a fun it on one to play for like through. 10, 15 bucks. Yeah. It's a fun one to play through, but you know. I'll just go back to Mega Man after I'm done. Yeah. So. My, my favorite game is Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger. Can they see your face? Right now. They and I've never played Chrono Trigger. And I've never played Earthbound. I want yeah. to play both of them. Yeah, I play both of them. But I don't want to. Uh, do, I don't want to do an emulator. I can't play RPGs. Which on emulator. one first? I would say Earthbound before Chrono Trigger. No, I think Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is way more playable than Earthbound. I think you enjoy the weirdness of Earthbound more. Yeah, artistically, Earthbound is yeah. unlike any game you'll ever play. Exactly. Yeah. Did you? Mine's the Revenge of Shinobi. I think most people who know me know that. That's a favorite game. What's up, Michael Knowles? Uh, Rosie. Yeah. Favorite game? Oh, uh, uh, Pillars of Eternity. Wow. That's a good game. Uh, what's everybody's opinion on the future? Oh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just showing Excellent. how good. The best game it's ever always with me. That crying always with me. Always with me. So good. Okay. What's everybody's opinion on the future of gaming? Opinion or predictions? I don't know. Looking bright. I think it looks good. I'm looks excited good. for a lot of stuff, um, but I think it'll change. It's, it's gonna look for for me. I, what I tell everyone is, I don't know how it's gonna look, but it's gonna look a lot different than it has over the last thirty years. It'll, it'll it's shift. gonna be not. I want the, the once VR hits like screen or like for the public. Uh, I want to see exactly how people are gonna take it, mm-hmm. and I want to see how the market is gonna change due to this. Because mm-hmm. I feel like the VR is if it hits and it's like people are like loving it, and want it. That's gonna change the game for forever. Mm-hmm. Maybe you know. I mean, like with motion control, that hit. Everyone loved it, mm-hmm. and everyone bought it. And a Wii was in every home playing Wii Sports, and that was it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. And that was done. That was over with. I think my prediction's a bit darker. I don't know. I don't like being negative, but. I see it. Shut up. I see it. I see it as a very mobile. I think mobile gaming is. Yeah, I see that. I think consoles are going to go away. Yeah. I think you're going to be able to plug your phone in or do something with a mobile device. Consoles, as we know them, I think yeah, that's going to shift drastically. I think you're just going to be able to plug it into your phone and it it can play whatever game you want. Um, But the games themselves, I think, the games we we know now are going to be dead. And this um, is like oh. a Dark Souls kind of game is underground. Mm, the world no, has become no, Dark Souls. No, 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 I don't. That I don't agree with. But I, I agree I with do. everything you said up until that. I think I think a game, it's a traditional game like Dark Souls, is, is gonna be like your underground kind of game. What? I really do. And this, I, is, I see, no. I see DLC and buying your progress through a game is way more profitable. Right. I mean, yeah, but. Here's the thing. Not, I'm not saying I want that, but that's just how I see predictions. Fair. Uh, I think <clears> that <throat> you had me all the way up until that last statement, but yeah. I do think, and this is why I think the Nintendo NX is ahead of kind of ahead of the game because I feel like we will do away with consoles and one t- at some point, and you'll be buying like the the PlayStation controller, mm. you know, and everything's internet. Or so you just it's turn on your TV it's already, and this controller yeah. connects to that. Because mm-hmm. everything's going to go digital mm-hmm. at some point. There's not going to be physical copies. It's no not more. a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Exactly. So totally I agree. think that Nintendo, they're already kind of heading that way with but the God, I'm MS. excited with the, the cartridge-based format, if that's true. Well, and that's, that's a cool uh, thing because they're like, so you want to disconnect from the internet? You want to just go out and do it? Boom, pop in a cartridge. You know, they're... they're I'm telling you, man. NX, dude. I don't know, man. I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. But I think they're because it's all. You know, it's almost like that's the Nintendo controller. The console mm-hmm. is the controller, and I think that's where we're heading. The Xbox One. The next thing will be a controller, whatever it is that hooks you up mm-hmm. to their servers or whatever. What are you, John? I think I already said, it, didn't I? 
looking well, good. I said, I said it's gonna, well, I said I don't know how it's going to look, it's gonna look but it's going to look a lot different. And I mean, I can. I don't know. You might be. You might be onto something like with the Dark Souls thing. I mean, aside f- going to like, like the casual gamer. How many casual gamers play Dark Souls? No. I don't. Mm-hmm. I mean, think about the it. Market, but it has such I mean, a, a strong fan base. Look how many people play Pokemon Go and they'll, they'll spend money on it. Sure. It, you, you're pairing. <clears throat> well, they've done, they've done to studies. Pokemon they've Go. done studies with like the mobile games and mm-hmm. the the the, D, the DL DLC or whatever. It's late, and <laughs> they say that that going in there and like buying things on these games gives you the same like euphoria or chemical or reaction in the brain that you get from mm-hmm. like playing slot machines. It's, it, it almost becomes like an addiction. Mm-hmm. So these companies, I mean, they're they're for profit business. What are they going to do to maximize their profit? Mm-hmm. Could it go that way? Yeah, probably. But I think Konami. Yeah, I don't know. But sure, Konami. Yeah, they're they're in the business to make money, and that's the best money making bet. But here's the thing: Chip there's Chip always going to be something for uh, the I, I more than average gamer, oh, yeah, they're, they're and I don't be. think it's going to be underground because I think Grand Theft Auto Five. I can see mobile, like all the mobile apps. All that stuff, I could see that actually falling into the same route that the video game system, video game, uh, did when it crashed. Mm-hmm. The video game market when it crashed, because everyone's going to be making these apps yeah. and everyone, and it's going to get so saturated. You're not going to know what's good and what's not, and right. people are just be like, "I'm wasting my money on all these crap games," and then that crashes. I, I, I think everything will turn out for the better, but I think I think we're in a that's the way it's going for the way that I see it. Right on. I think the Game Gear is going to make a really big comeback. I hope so. Yeah. Like it was really Game Gear 2. two. Game Gear 2. I'm going to play yeah. Dreamcast <laughs> 1 games, but on the same Game Gear resolution. Bad battery life. Yeah. Screen blur. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I'm very really excited. <laughs> Stop watching for Duracell triple sack in the Game Gear. <laughs> the Dreamcast <laughs> comes out. You know what would be fun is to make a... Count console that's 16 bit, a mm. new one. Well, the chameleon. Oh, no, that's <laughs> but why Somebody. make a console? You can like flat Steam can it. already do it. Yeah, Steam can already do that. Hey, hey, the way I look f- at it is, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. if you want those games, play indie games. The indie it's market, honestly, like, so, the indie so, market is indie huge, market is best man. bet for that. Truth be told, right. so Stardew many. Valley, like that game, is unprecedented in terms of success. People were pirating like crazy, and then suddenly they're like, "Guys, go buy this game. I'm buying a copy now because it was so universally like." Like you crazy. mentioned, um, Metroid. Go play yeah. Axiom Verge. Have you guys? Oh that? God, yes. Do you want to play? Metroid? I know exactly what it is, but I haven't played it. Dude, yeah. if you like Metroid, it's yeah. up the alley, up the butt. If you want to play yeah. Uh, yeah. Ghost and Goblins, there's a new game. It's called uh, Godsend Cast. Cast of the Seventh Godsend or something like that. Hmm. It plays just like an old. That sounds great. Really? Yeah. So. I mean, they're there. That's why I love ind- I love the indie market right now. It's, for yeah, those reasons. very good and healthy for that. Let's release some physicals. I know. You got a question there? No? Uh, Mike Click said, I just wish there was a Sega CD 32X without the load time, huh? I agree. Is horrible. I wish load time was just stricken from everything altogether. That's why I'm excited for if, if the NX does use like SSD like chips, essentially. Load time could just be done. Yeah. Oh, that's all I want. I would I would love for just one big load time, but it just plays smooth after Uncharted Four. Exactly. It loads once and then you're good for the rest of the game and it's incredible. The exactly. Metroid indie game was Axiom Verge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. A X I O M Verge. So yeah. good. Also, right. I almost, tried to get a review copy of that. Yeah. That's so good. Denied. Do you guys ever see like the Game Gear emulation on the 3DS? You ever seen it? No. They nail it. It, 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 I tried to do a Super Nintendo one, it didn't, didn't work out. Okay. Because um, what they do with this, I just wanted to show you guys real quick, and we'll actually we'll pop it up on the screen for people to see. Oh, no, we won't. Never mind. Nobody's going to see it. It's too far away. But You can hold it up. No, it's too far away. Yeah, we're about. We're almost done Black Metal Gear. We're, 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 we're pretty close. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It did, it's been here since the whole time. No, he just jumped back on, I think. He just said, holy crap, still alive. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dude, like, we don't mess yeah. around here. i got to save something real quick. I'm a little crappy drawing. Now where we are, we're, we're, we're wrapping we're it up. Wrap. Sakura! Didn't Hello. know you and John were friends. Me and this John? Or me and... Oh, we're, we're friends now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Uh, who's friends with who? Yeah. You didn't know that. Well, Sakura, you and John. It would have to be you. I'm also John, so I was wondering, but like... Uh, we're both Johns. Yeah. Right. Who knew that we were friends? Who but is he saying... Black Metal Gamer says... 
How do you say it? Sa- Sakura. Sa- Sakura. Is- Sakura. Sakura is his name. Yeah. yeah. That's his last name. Sakura. Didn't, didn't know you and John were friends. I <laughs> said, yeah, we are now. It was like two hours ago. Yeah, we met two hours ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 know each other. Yeah. Anyway. That's good, right? Wrapping it up. Wrapping That's it up. a good stream. I'll take the game gear stuff off screen. How, 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 uh, how, how long was that one? That was two and a half hours. That's pretty good. That's a good stream. That's, That's way longer true. than our usual podcast. I usually do. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can do a lot of good discussion. Uh-huh. <laughs> we never got around to which games we're currently playing, which I think is great, and that's because the discussion just went everywhere. Yeah, we'll just hit it. Favorite. Just hit yeah, it. Yeah, no, we'll just give us one. Like nothing. I'm, okay, uh, I am Setsuna. I am Setsuna. Uh, World of Warcraft. Really? World of Warcraft. You're, back, you're back to there. Huh? Uh, <laughs> Prepare for leaving. Or have you never left? No, no, I, I did leave. I, stu- I seriously stopped playing like at the middle of like mm-hmm. Mr. Pandera. And then came back. I was like, okay, all my friends playing. And everyone wanted to play. This guy wanted to play. He backed out in like two days. Game's trash. You just, <laughs> you just, you know, anything he doesn't like. That's good. It's, it's bad. That's all it is. I'm playing uh, Super Castlevania. Yes. At the moment. Nice. And I'm playing Neverwinter. Yeah. Mm, Mario Maker too. That's great. So. Cool. That's it. We okay. did it. We okay. went all the way around. That's the end. All right. So make sure you check out Media Glitch. Media Glitch. Well, you're watching it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Media Glitch. So, but make sure you subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to Media Glitch. Subscribe. Yeah. And then we got Itch Network. Itch Network. Yep. Yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe, please. And then we got. Sock- we'll do this one first. Can you remember? It? Gaming through the decades. <laughs> Gaming through the decades. <laughs> Am I, yes. I? I don't know. Am I subscribed to that yet or not? We will. We should be right should. now. Gaming for <laughs> the decades, and then Sakula. And Sakula. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm so inspired this weekend to like do more videos because I never do them, <laughs> and now I just want to. That's what it's, I But more, yeah, that's basically. I'm gonna go home and do slam one. in the back of my Sakula. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good call. I'm really tired. Yeah. All right, so gaming through the ages. I'll, I'll decades. Look that up. So <laughs> through the decades. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'll get it right at some point. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks. So much for joining us. If you're going to be at the game on uh, Expo, we'll be there tomorrow. Yep. We may be there Sunday. Mm-hmm. We're still kind of trying to figure it out. But yep. we love you guys. Thank you we so much. You. We'll see you. Yeah. Have a good night, Bye-bye. guys. Late. I still got that, Rosie.